once again, uh, Tiktokulon longs for death, I guess. I don't, I think Tiktokulon has, uh, <laughs> I, I think Tiktokulon uh, wants to die. He wishes to be free of consciousness. This is, this is, I thought this would go better. I really thought so. I thought there would be something funny somewhere in here. It's about drive. It's about power. We stay hungry. We oh my God. Please click not interested. Where's not interested? Where is not interested? Where can I find it? <laughs> I only see report. X? We no, but if I click the X, then it the goes out like that. The red X. No, that closes the site. Nice try. <laughs> I'm not going to report him. <laughs> For what? Huh? It's not a feature on PC. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. This is my baby sensory videos uh, idea. I, I, you know, I thought we'd be able to eventually the algorithm would learn. And I thought eventually uh, things would be good. And yet, here we are. It's only gotten worse. This has only gotten worse. Wait. What happens when you get out of your car? It's pretty funny. It's pretty funny. You know? At least the bar is cool. Anyway, here is your favorite dog doing a I'm Coney Geography impression. I'm not gonna do that. Okay. My favorite dog? Here, Coney, burping and farting penguin will make you I'm feel not better. Watching that. Stay strong, my friend. I'm not watching that. Spencer wanted to win a manatee plush. Did he get it? Why is Millie? Spencer wanted to win a manatee plush. That's the whole TikTok. It's called Winner Every Time. Is this a carnival account? Is this an account about winning at carnival games? Plus. I don't want about that beat. Hop up in the Jeep. Get Kyle Thomas off my fucking page! What about me when I entered my information made them think that I wanted Kyle Thomas to show up? All I'm getting is Kyle Thomas, I, dude! Get, it's him again. It's, I can't. Tiktokulon fucking loves Kyle Thomas. Tiktokulon loves this guy. Tiktokulon, please, for the love of God. Stop. I, I don't want to see kids doing... <laughs> okay. Alright. Okay. Okay. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Okay. All right. All right. Maybe we're on the right track. We're on the right track. We got one. We got one. We got to skip faster. I just had to learn TikTokulon better. Don't like that. Please put your penis away. No. I'm not going to ask you again. Put your penis away. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. No, it's bad. Oh, my God. Don't. Oh, my God. Okay. What? Is that sushi? I'm. It's not loading. I'm skipping. Uh, I. I think TikTok crashed. Why does everybody have these fucking lights? What is this? What's happening? Why does every teenager in America have lights around the rim of their bedroom? Is the site crashed? Did TikTok die? I think it did. <laughs> oh my god, stop. Dude, is TikTok dead? Wait, are we sure that TikTok is actually... Is TikTok down?
<laughs> is it actually down? The algorithm can't get a read on you, so it's dying. Dude, it literally... I'm only getting pictures now. These are only pictures. I can't get any more videos. We could like based on the picture, you know? Not Kyle Thomas, dude. Okay. Clearly, TikTok is a platform where you have to do a bit of homework. I've really thought that by liking funny stuff and not liking unfunny stuff, we'd be able to get a good for you page in an hour. Um... How naive. Yeah, I, you know, I thought this would be easier. <laughs> Please block accounts. It makes the account, it makes it so much faster. That's a good idea. How do I block accounts? I guess I just go to it and then I can't block him. I can't block him on desktop. I can't. I cannot block him on desktop. I actually can't do it. That's insane. I literally cannot block him on desktop. I can only do it on mobile. Okay, TikTok is fucking dead. Use blue stacks? That's a good idea. Maybe I'll do that in the future if I ever want to revisit this. <laughs> Press F12 and then refresh. F12. Whoa. What did F12 do there? Hold on. <laughs> Dude, this guy's sitting at his table. I'll never know what he does. This could be the funniest TikTok on the site. This could be the funniest video ever to grace the internet, and I'll never know. Oh, no. Not the fucking... Ugh. It's just sad posting, bro. It's like... <laughs> you just need to skip faster? Yeah? Yeah? I don't, well, apparently TikTok is just not functioning, period. Hold on. I have to see. Is it me? Did I break TikTok? Oh, I'm pulling up on you. On you Put some respect on my name. Okay, so apparently tiktok Ulan is dead. The site itself works, but tiktok Ulan is dead. He's he's legit not working anymore. Oh my god. Oh, there you go. Guys, we're okay. It's saved. Don't worry. Okay. I don't like that. Bro, I've seen this Donald Duck thing before. It's just a dude yelling. <laughs> not Donald, please. I can't deal with Donald. Try not to laugh part 17. Where's Officer? You know, I didn't laugh. I didn't laugh, but I had to try. I did have to try. He was confused as to where all the cereal was. By the way, this account is called Try Not To Laugh Vids. I'm gonna follow Try Not To Laugh Vids in the hope that maybe I'll get actual funny stuff. Okay, we, 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 we've now followed our first account. Okay. 
All right, hold on. Two in a row. Two in a row. We got two in a row. Okay, two likes in a row. Thank God. Okay. Okay, okay, here we go. We're starting to get it. No, 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 no. Wait. No, 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 no. What? What? I, you know, I, it still no, says no, more no, lulls. No. <laughs> There's still a lot more lulls. <laughs> uh, you know, I have to drop a light. TikTok's getting it right. And see this okay, I'm skipping. I can't let it go bad. I can't let it go bad. No, I'm not, I'm not car ghost. This is all the same TikTok. What's going on here? What? <laughs> what is? What? Is, what am I supposed to be feeling? This is an actual TikTok from China. Okay, that's. I'm skipping it. This is literally a high school. What are you doing? Miss Sharon said I could help her with something. Miss Sharon said you can help her with something. Okay, we. People may judge about living in a trailer. But... What the fuck? No. Ya valió verga, güey. No. Oh my god. It's fucking Kyle Thomas. Dude, Kyle Thomas must know somebody at TikTok. Because this dude is just on my fucking page constantly. This is insane, dude. Look at those pretty eyes. <laughs> That's cute. That's cute. Oh, I like that one. Look at those pretty eyes. I like that one. Okay, so if it's Kyle Thomas, you have to skip immediately. Tiktokulon is now people falling down and animals. That's it. Mama, come get this thing. This little fucker stay. Okay. Drew Barrymore? What the fuck? I hate this fucking site. Hey, hey, what a problem, man. I'm speeding on these parts like I'm a lover, man. I'm a good look. Hey, hey, what a problem, man. I'm speeding on these parts like I'm a lover, man. Okay, it was all worth it for this. It was all worth it. Thank God TikTokulon said you like physical movement and animals. Here's a dog spinning around really fast. Finally! Finally! Okay, it's starting to learn. Dude, it's just dog videos. We're starting to learn. Content restored. Okay, hold on. We're finding it. Hold on. <laughs> can I watch this? Can I... Can I... Can I... Can I watch this? It's medical! That's medical, right? Skipping. It's a medical the procedure. World, can people not like cats? Like, look. Right. At look at him. Fuck. Tiktokulon, no more of that. Not like cats. Why is like, that recommended at... for you? It's not it's... me. It's you. You're making this account. How in the world can people not like cats? Like, look at this. Look at him. How in the world? Can people not like people cats? are lulling this? Like, look at this. Look at I him. guess I don't. I don't like it. How in the world? All right, me and my wife gonna try this together because we can't. Hey! Pues el día de el nope. Yeah! What the fuck is that? 
All right, we got these. Dude, did you know that a new star appeared in the sky about a thousand years ago? Really? Yeah, on July 4th in the- I don't hey, know. Hey, 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 Five million people watched this whole thing and liked it. What is this person doing? Skip its bait? I have to know. I'm gonna watch the whole thing. Maybe I'll like it. Fries? What was that? Mac and cheese? Is that pot roast? What is she making? Skip, please. If five million people watched this and liked it, how bad could it be? What is that? Yeah, that's mac and cheese with pot roast. Cody, you're a statistic. I'm one of the five million. Oh, she put fries in it. Oh my god, she's gonna make a pancake. I have to see how this ends. Algorithm ruined. God, hold on. I have to see what she makes. What is she gonna make? Does it make a patty? Or like a sandwich? It says a sandwich. What, what is it? That didn't make anything. I shouldn't have watched it. I am totally new you guys to this were right. air fryer game. But I just found out. Stop you cooking. Stop. I'm not a teacher. Stop. Don't scroll. Jesus is coming back soon, and his return is very near. We don't oh have my time God. to play around with our lives. You don't okay. have time to play around with sin. The Bible says in John 10:10 10, 10, that the yeah. thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy. He oh wants my God. to destroy your life. He wants to kill you. But Jesus has come to give you life and life <laughs> what? abundant. What? God has a purpose for your life. The Bible says many. What's are happening? Did, 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 did TikTok you long show me this on do, purpose? But they don't know their purpose. God created the light, and He called the light to be the sun. But its purpose was to give light on the earth god is calling you to go does my into the world tiktok algorithm the think and i the need god is because he does not want anybody to go to hell so why do you keep playing around thinking that you have time thinking that god is okay with you not obeying him surrender your life to him pick up your cross deny yourself and follow him the holy f i watched this whole thing dude i actually watched this whole thing servants. tiktok now thinks i'm a christian god, you can forget about him blessing you that's why you're tiktok so broke. thinks i'm that's a christian you're so struggling but you can give your life to him today you could choose to today the plan that he has for your life and you're gonna see the heavens opened up over your life this year in jesus name but it starts with you giving your life to him the bible says whoever calls right, on I, the name of jesus I, shall a lot of say, people lulled it so i'm liking it tiktok elon is now spiritual i don't know now it's all my algorithm. I'm not watching dancing. I'm about to get I'm not. Pomegranate on fruit roll up. Limon Cheeto. Ooh. Chamoy. Now this Hot kind of it. cooking I can get behind. Wait a minute. Hot Hot Cheetos. Wait! Ba Puede el chef fresh venir a probar este TikTok snack? <laughs> sí, mijo de volada. Mijo. The TikTok snack? <laughs> Mira pa. ¿Qué es eso, mija? That actually might, might be pretty, pretty good. good. <laughs> a darle. Okay. Oh god. His <laughs> eyes about a roll off. Pa, <laughs> is it snack or yak? <laughs> no, this is mac. <laughs> I want more of these. I'm liking this because I need more snack or yak content. I need a lot of snack or yak. That's all I care about. If my if my algo could just be all snack or yak, I'll be happy. I don't know why TikTok thinks I'm Spanish and Christian. That dog is not Okay, that's pretty funny. That would that was pretty funny. Okay. Okay, that didn't hurt. You're being dramatic. She's a precious angel. 
Okay, that okay. didn't hurt. You're being dramatic. I like for animals. I guess okay, we're animal I get posting. Over with my six year old brother Whatever. in the back seat. So the cop is walking up to the window and immediately I'm like, sorry, officer, I was in a rush. I'm not. If you touch the sky, but you ain't got It's shit Kyle on Thomas. Me. Kyle oh, Thomas again. They just there were nine No, not doctor posting. What are you Stop. Doing here, Parks? Are you not you nurses. He has the lights. I'm not watching you dance. grade this was such a bad idea it broke again it broke again it it actually just broke again the whole site broke again it doesn't know what to give me essential mcdonald's oh my god You have to frame one skip so the algorithm knows you don't like it. So you can't actually react or watch anything. Otherwise, it thinks that you like it. <laughs> I didn't realize TikTok was this shitty. Oh, man. Okay. Well, I've given it, given it about an hour. But, uh, I think there is only one thing we must do. Goodbye, TikTok Yulon. You are too beautiful for this world. Wait, will it show? Okay. <laughs> Goodbye, TikTok Yulon. It's for the best. It's for the best. Oh, dear Lord. Dear Lord. You know, you can't have known that unless you give it a try. But holy fucking shit, that was, uh, that was rough. <laughs> oh my god. I want you to know I will never forget this stream. Yeah, bro. Uh, you know, I... I, I thought that we'd be able to create a TikTok algorithm. Wordle 228 and 36 With specifically good big stuff Big black square Big black square Big black square Big oh, black God. square Big black square What a fucking nightmare Apparently you do have to like Grind it I would have to grind this By the way Remember, this was not easy to do. We had somebody make this fucking chat sentiment bar. What the fuck am I going to do with this now? What am I going to do with this? What am I going to do with that, huh? <laughs> oh, man. YouTube shorts. I... You know, I knew TikTok was full of shit, but I thought eventually, eventually, we get to good stuff. It took months of me trying to use it sparingly for my feed on TikTok for it not to be 99% garbage. Oh. Oh, man. Jesus Christ. YouTube, Yolan? <laughs> idea use it for react oh, wars god. to god bonus points based on chat interaction oh god dude i you know i really thought at some point there'd be something we were stuck 
YouTube shorts are actually content? Are they? Are they better? I don't believe you. I've never felt less like a normie. Yeah, I feel supremely out of touch with this, with the next generation. Like, I've never, I, none of that was appealing to me in the slightest. None of that was cool or funny or interesting. Oh, God. Except the dog spinning. That's go. the one funny thing. This was truly a Coney ZZ. Oh, Cause it had God. Coney, and it made me ZZ. Oh, man. That was... Fuck me. Okay. Where do we even go from here, dude? Watch Mojo doesn't even feel right after that. I've spent a lot of time on TikTok. I've never seen that Kyle Thomas guy. What the fuck was up with that? Why did Kyle Thomas keep showing up, dude? Was it Snacker Yak? That's Big Yak. This this whole thing was a Big Yak. Truly. I, I don't know what to tell you. I'm sorry. The Meerkat was... A, it wasn't funny, though. It was just... We were in a drought. We had to like something. Thanks, Jack Frost. Oh, no. You watched the first Kyle Thomas video for a few seconds too long, and the algo thought it was gas. Oh, my God. The algorithm was too smart for its own good. I better not get banned for that penis thing. If this not only gets me banned, but also wastes an hour of my time, I'm going to go Joker mode. Oh my god, dude. What a fucking nightmare. <laughs> okay. Delete the VOD now? There are like five VODs now, because it kept crashing. Okay. Let's mojo. Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> I need a palate cleanser. My brain is fucking mush. I was hoping there'd be something in there. It was so bad. Delete your stream just in case. Yeah, just get rid of the whole thing. I, maybe I should just start the stream over. <laughs> start back at affiliate. Need a palette enema. Yeah. Oh, God. That was tough. That was tough. <laughs> what a memorable stream to join for the first time. Yeah, you showed up to, to the ship sinking. <laughs> Usually ideas like when we do them, they'll go okay at worst. Like... It's not great, but it's like, okay, you can see where that what was supposed to go. I Man. Coney watch funny meme com. Memes that my gamer GF forces me to watch cringe title aside. No. It's good content. I won't do that. I won't do that. At all. Okay. But what I will do... God. I'm, I'm going through my TikTok still right now. It's all Kyle Thomas. It's all Kyle Thomas, dude. They fucking love Kyle Thomas. Jesus Christ. Ugh. Okay. Dude, I don't get why Kyle Thomas is all over my fucking page. Thank you, Doc Zero. <laughs> Kyle Thomas back chest. <laughs> TikTok loves that guy. It wants me to look at him. Okay. God, how do I how do I turn TikTok into something? There's got to be a way. There's funny shit in there, but you got to dig for it. You got to get not Kyle Thomas on the fucking not on Twitch, dude. He's going to show up here. Coney, to build off of the Mpot trend, I'm truly deeply sorry that you went on TikTok. <sighs> I truly am. Almost as sorry so as tough. when you shot Kayla in that one horror game. That's so tough. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, whatever. Whatever. We're, it's over. It's done. It's in the past. I want to talk about the future. I don't want to talk about TikTok anymore. If you're watching this, it's because if you showed up late, we tried to do TikTok. It was a bad idea. But there's something that's always a good idea. There is a YouTube channel that only produces high-quality, amazing content all the time. And that channel, of course, has 24 million subscribers. It's WatchMojo.com. Wow. Incredible. Literally eight videos a day. How do they do it? All of them are amazing, too. The top 20 greatest movie quotes of the century. By the way, I looked at this. The insane Danganronpa executions. I'm watching this. I don't think this is going to make it into the YouTube video because I'm not watching 20 minutes of this to go into YouTube. But I have to see it. I have to see it. That game is so fucking dumb. Top 10 most censored countries. Uh, top 10 video game leaks. Top 10 best 90 shows with Black Cat. Oh, I see. It's February. That's what they're doing. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Uh, they upload like eight videos a day, and so we're going to go ahead and uh, take a look, and we're going to start with the top ten things only Americans do and think it's normal. I got made fun of earlier tonight for being too American, and uh, maybe that's true. Maybe there's stuff about our culture that I don't know about. Let's go ahead and take a look. I feel like number one is not knowing anything about the other states. Like not knowing... Like, the middle of the country. Because I feel like that's a lot of Americans, right? You don't like America, why don't you get out? That has to be pretty common. Welcome to Watch Mojo. Not knowing and geography, we're yeah. we're counting down our picks for the top 10 things Americans do that the rest of the world doesn't. You're 15, right? Yeah. Yeah, I gotta call your parents. Cops? It's time. It's time. Don't Claritin? <laughs> Y'all do don't have Claritin? Yeah. For this list. We're That's crazy. The things that are more common in the United States of America than in most other countries. While some of them are present elsewhere, they're not quite as widespread as in the U.S. Oh, I forgot. Nobody, nobody else judges. tips, right? This is supposed to be a lighthearted list after Tipping all. has got to so be number keep a one. Sense of humor and know that it's all in good fun. If there's a particular Americanism that our list didn't cover, please do Can tell us Can you please get this shot off? I don't like how close she is. Number 10. Refer to the USA as America. America. Do other countries not do that? What do you call us? America. What? Outside of the United States of America, referring to the country as America is much less commonplace. After all, Why? there are two entire continents called America, oh comprising God, like so 35 distinct nations. Referring to only one country on one of those continents as America too is really confusing for anyone who doesn't live there. Do Europeans not call it America? What do you guys call it? The United States? That's so stupid. From this day forward, we it's are the going continent. To be only it's basically America all us. First. America first. They call us Americans. Calling yeah, what the, the US, they don't call us USA, United States or United States or just the states is much more common in the rest of the world. The states. Even okay. so everyone still calls it Every country is Americans, you don't call Canada the provinces. Confusing at all. That's dumb. You can't say it, but you know it's true. <laughs> Number 9. Have pharmacies that sell groceries. Oh, is that not normal? In most of the world, pharmacies sell exactly what their name implies. That's not normal? While you will see tangentially related items like grooming products or hygienic things like toothbrushes, pharmacies don't usually carry food or Y'all don't got CVS's the US, over there? That's much more common. The country that's is all mad about convenient. the all-in-one experience. Not only will dedicated grocery stores have pharmacies built in, but pharmacies will also carry groceries. Bro, it's gotta suck to be in Europe. You gotta stop at like five different places to get anything? No, Canada is America. Canada is America. Everybody knows that. Canada gets all of its best ideas from us. Why does Europe... You don't understand how convenient every grocery store is in the rest of the world. But you still have to make two stops. Granted, the selection isn't always great, but if you're desperate for milk, I'm never going to do that. Closed, I'm never making two stops, like one for my medications there, and one for groceries. That's insane. Some. While most of the world I'd rather die. Drug stores to drugs Give me liberty. Products, we have a feeling this one might catch on. I'm never just going to have shit delivered, whatever. Before they can drink. Worldwide, True. that is a little weird. At which a person can legally That is a little weird. Is most commonly 18. 
the age usually considered to be adulthood, though it is even earlier in How some come countries. you can the vote but you can't drink wine? Also generally 18. I love Simple wine. Reasons. I am French, Although, by the way. <laughs> if you the could not tell by my accent. Lowered the voting age to I love to give 16-year-olds wine in our homes. Made the change to that is what we do as a country, and then we take a nap at 3 p.m. However, the United States requires young adults. French is the only accent I'm allowed to do. Able to vote before so I'm, I, I have to, to do it as much as I can. <laughs> this was enacted during the 1980s to prevent alcohol related driving accidents. This law has been an abysmal failure. Yeah, it that's kind of. That is a little weird. Drinking. I don't it think that's normal. As an American, that one's a little strange. Doors into the most risky and least manageable of settings. While it helped in the short term, ultimately it hasn't really stopped teenagers from drinking. The result is that many people, both inside and outside the U.S., oh my God, the look logic at old YouTube. Of why oh my God, is that many people, both inside and out. There's probably somebody in chat right now that was not alive for this. There's there's probably a 12 year old who lied to get onto Twitch that said they were 18 or 16 and they were not alive for this version of YouTube. There's probably one of you in this chat right now. Oh my god. What's the date on this? I don't probably 2006, 2007. Outside the US. Oh my god. Question the logic of why an 18-year-old American can decide who fools oh, the government man. but not get buzzed. The reality is everyone drinks before they turn 21. That's why when you go out for your first legal Australian drink, posting, you have to by react the way. with that faux surprise like you've never heard of alcohol before. Ooh, what is this alcohol? They drink it like eight. Mmm. Oh, it's unusual. Oh, this is true. Number seven, tip service personnel. All right, everybody cough up. Yeah, this is kind of shitty. I don't get why we still do this. I'm that guy. <laughs> That's me. Come on, throw in a bucket. I'm surprised it's seven, uh, though. I don't tip. You don't tip? No, I don't believe in it. While the concept of tipping waitstaff or other people in the service industry is known worldwide, few countries have embraced the concept to the degree the U.S. has. Labor I will say declare the practice undemocratic and anti-tipping legislation was enacted across several states. I will say when I went to Australia, the service was awful. They visited me like once. It was bad. And that was the only time I've ever been out of the country. So, like... Maybe there's like a give and a take, you know? I want you to earn a living wage, but I would also like you to come to my table more than once and give me my crepes. You shit. I got one water for that meal, you know? There's got to be a balance. It's because you were an American. It, she was Australian. She was Australian. So it's not like they hate Americans. They probably love us. And it was in Sydney. Half of their money comes from tourism. But restaurants and rail operators like the Pullman Company embrace tipping. Wait, do Australians hate Americans? No. No way. Is that true? Really? Everyone hates us? No. Okay, you guys are Europe posting. You guys are talking about Europe. No, 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 no. You are thinking of the French. You have the French and the how you say Australians. That's really hard to say with a French accent. You have them confused. You are sick of the French. They hate Americans. <laughs> because it allowed them, among other things, no, to no, no, no. Australians love us. Without having to pay Austra them. As anyway. an Australian, yes. Go to fucking bed. You're on the other side of the planet. What time is it for you? Go to. Well, I guess if it's 12 hours, then it's literally 10 a.m. Never mind. Particularly in the restaurant. If you're in Europe, go to bed. It's too late. To get by, in part because laws allow managers Europeans get out. Minimum wages to tipped workers. However, in various other go countries, back to bed. Is seen as insulting. Lazy ass. Jobs after all. Each year, Americans spend forty billion dollars on tips. That's a good waiter. That's more than we Canadians spend on also aid hate more than we... I don't give a shit what Canadians think. Your flag is a leaf. <laughs> Did you guys know that? Did you guys know that kid? Dude, I'm not making this up. <laughs> I'm not making... Like, like I, I just found out about this like a week ago. <laughs> a, 
<laughs> I saw something going on Twitter, and I thought it was like a meme. But no, that's their flag. <laughs> that is so funny. That's so funny. In 1965, too, so it's not even like something really old. Oh my god, what a shitty country. Spend on gambling. And like gambling, it's not entirely clear that tipping makes any sense in the first place. While some countries' workers certainly appreciate Everybody should be a waiter at some point in their lives. Like it is in the US. Everybody because employees are paid a high should be a waiter at some point. That they don't need so you to know how bad it is. Restaurant owners still pay their servers less than minimum wage, turning what used to be a bribe into an obligation that makes the end of every meal suck. Loves the, the military, bro. Military is probably the best in the world, as it should be, since it's also one of the best funded militaries in the world. Sure, in fact, yeah. the U.S. spends several times more on their military than their nearest competitor, China. What's more, Damn, really? there are more than a few American citizens who have a higher than average fascination with their own military and I feel culture. safe as hell, well, thank then. Thank you as, our, as your commander in chief. Because Good for us. No, I knew that we sent. A, I knew that we spent a lot. I didn't know that we spent like several times what China does. I thought they were like scary or a threat. I'm not scared of them at all. They're going for the cultural victory with TikTok, but they're, clearly they're not going to win that, as we've seen. Me, your willingness to serve, to step forward. Terrible app. At a time of war and say the threat me. is us. Good. Is the good. If I'm in the country, that's the threat. I feel safe as hell. Because at least your flag is lines and a bunch of stars. Yeah, but it's pretty. Shut Just up. Just admit North America no. sucks at making flags, except no. Mexico. No, the, you, do you even know what the stars and I was about to say stars and bars. Oh God, that's not what it is. Do you know what those stars and those bars represent? Hmm. Do you know what those represent? <laughs> Bullet dot. Those stars and on the actual flag, not the other flag. The flag that's the the our nation's flag. Okay, that one. Do you know what that represents, huh? All the men and women that died for this country. God bless the USA. And and uh, fuck your tree country. The reason the United Insane. States stays strong and free. While other countries certainly appreciate their troops, you don't, say, see as many people wearing camouflage as a legitimate <laughs> fashion statement. I thought that was a Likewise, hunting thing. You don't see movies made elsewhere that glorify the military to the degree that the U.S. does. You don't? Do me a favor. Tell my children I love them very much. No, that's because you don't see movies from countries at all. There's only one Hollywood. Right? Yahoo! Like... Coney, your state's flag is checkers. Yeah, and I don't like it. I never said I liked Maryland state flag. No, what okay. did it... Okay, Toad is very talky Elizabeth tonight. Elizabeth Betsy Ross really looked at the flag she made and went, Oh, damn bars. The, yeah, they're good. It's a good flag. I feel like... Any movie out of Europe is like a crappy, it's like, it's like a, it's like an art house film, you know what I mean? Or it's like quiet or black and white. Like only we could do military movies because we put money into it. What's the most famous foreign movie ever made other than Bollywood? Don't count Bollywood. Rayman? <laughs> no, not Parasite. Not Parasite. I mean like of all time. You mean recently. Who killed Captain Alex? Is that it? Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon? Uh, One Piece. <laughs> Ponyo, Fish in the Sea? Squid Game. Squid Game. Okay, yeah. Harry Potter. Harry Potter was filmed in L.A. Oh, Harry right, Potter was absolutely an filmed in Hollywood, right? In the words of my or by a Hollywood studio. Oh, it was universal. It was universal. We did it. Of it we just went somewhere else. No, 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 no. You don't, you don't get what I'm saying. It wasn't filmed by Europeans. Anti-military sentiment that has popped up over the last several decades. No war, I think. Okay. No war, right? Okay. Oh well, here you go, boys. Warner this Brothers. Help you yeah, see, there you go. That's America. It's good to see that you care about peace, boys. Okay. Number five, work too much. That's not true Americans at all. Americans are workaholics. At least that's not true basically at basically every other country in the world. Uh -uh. The majority of Americans work more than 40 hours a week. Why do we do this to ourselves? No, Japan well, goes crazy. That this attitude towards work makes the American economy the envy of the world. America is a hectic, turbocharged system that builds, destroys, rebuilds all at warp speed. They also tend to lack many of the things the rest of the world takes for granted. Like 42 days holidays, of hot. Well oh my God. Leave. 
Research has that's too much that time off. Less stressed workers do better at their jobs. Maybe that's, that's why, why your military sucks. Tried a four-day work week that proved wildly successful. There's, there's lots of other benefits to a four-day working week. It's not just the environment. You know, it's work not just a little harder. Health, Jesus. And economy. You know, good for the economy. Also Lazy environmental as Europe. benefits too. You know, evidence looks Choo. like when we're commuting less as a result of a four-day week, that brings down emissions. Also, energy consumption goes down. So this is this is this is a policy. That's I will the say the four-day work, work week. I can't believe we're not employers. doing that. What's that is like a little crazy. It? Several European countries take not long the same clip. For lunch. That woman is While so tired. American this poor young lady admirable. just wants to go to bed. Grind culture becomes problematic when it costs workers their mental health and well-being. <laughs> Number four. This is this. On <laughs> this was so somebody watching the TikTok stream tonight. This is somebody like, why did he do this? Breaks for lunch. While the American this is someone in chat is admirable, an hour ago. Mind culture becomes problematic when it costs <sighs> workers not their stopping. mental health and well-being. <laughs> Number four, put sales tax on everything. Huh? Sales tax is paid when you buy something, and the business you purchase your goods do that? from sends that money to the government. Sure. There are two types. How y'all pay for stuff? Tax. General sales tax and excise taxes. Why won't he skip that black General haired boy? General sales tax is a tax levied on most goods you buy. He really likes this kid, excise James guy. Excise taxes are taxes levied only on certain <laughs> items. Most countries enact a value-added tax, or VAT, on goods or services purchased within their borders. These taxes okay. are collected from every person in the supply chain, from the distributors to the consumers. Sure. The United States is one of the few to use sales tax which not only vary wildly from state to state, That's but true. are only enacted after a purchase has been made. The state treasury depends on sales taxes to pay for road repairs, How education, you fix that? and medical care for children, seniors, and the poor. They're also not listed in the initial price, which can leave foreign visitors and many Americans <laughs> scratching their head as to why they're being charged Stop more than the Stop with this lady. I can't. I'm sick of this lady. Better or worse. Go away. It's certainly more confusing. What? This is such a long then, shot. If you're going to buy a big ticket item. Where is the cheapest sales tax? Well, Delaware. You, know, you can go online and look at all the sales tax rates for different cities. And, and if you go look to at Delaware. one dealership or one, you know, Best Buy yeah. or something like that, you can find the different zip codes and look at the sales tax rates ah. and just see how much that'll be. New Hampshire? Wait, New Hampshire is zero tax? Tonight. There you go. Oregon, too? Number three, the Pledge of Allegiance. Dude, what am I doing living in Maryland? Ours is six. Dude, it, it must suck to be a European and come over here and buy something. You said it was one hundred dollars. <laughs> Why am I paying one oh six? Allegiance. I pledge allegiance. This shit is weird. To the flag. This shit's always been United weird. States this is really the same thing as the military, right? Is that America? Of the United States of America. This is America. Oh, it's the melting pot. The United States. School children. The great melting pot. I like that. In some settings. Good. Are expected to recite the pledge of allegiance. This is an expression that they will be loyal to the USA and Good. is usually performed yeah. daily while looking at the nation's flag. But back then in 1892 when it was written by Francis Bellamy, Bellamy was a Baptist minister mm -hmm. and uh, Do it in, right now. Um, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States America of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible. Oh my god, I've been out of school for like 20 years. How do I still know it? Oh, dude, that's weird. That's so weird. Now that I think about it, I'm 33, which means the last time I recited the Pledge of Allegiance was in high school when I was a senior. That was 15 years ago, almost half my life ago. Wait, almost? Yeah. Jesus. That's so weird in conjunction with a magazine called high school yeah they do it in high school do they not do it in your high school we stopped in middle school oh thank god maybe they just phased it out i don't know youth's companion uh he wrote this that's so uh, at weird that time, dude. 23 word pledge of allegiance citizens of other countries might respect or salute their flag and country but a daily affirmation not <laughs> in most places the pledge of allegiance has been the subject of controversy and criticism that is weird both from outside the u.s and from within some see it as indoctrination. My friend got others suspended for not doing it. Do you live in Texas? And still others think it was simply or written Tennessee. some merch. Whatever the case, it is not a common thing in the rest of the world. But the bottom line Not a is, common thing to love um, your country? We all look different, sound different, Could but not we are be all me. on the same team. Number two, God go bankrupt bless. from healthcare. 
<laughs> this is sad. Oh my god. 60% of all bankruptcies in oh the United god. States. Oh god. In 2017, <laughs> one third of the money raised on GoFundMe went towards medical campaigns. And the site raises $650 million a year for more than 250,000 medical campaigns. Americans experience a variety of unexpected charges while getting much needed care. Oh, this is From just surprise sad, bills dude. to being charged for riding in an ambulance. According to this one is study, so 71% sad. of all ambulance providers do not take the patient's insurance. That same study found that 79% of patients who took an ambulance could get a surprise bill with an average total around $450. Yeah, ambulances are like 500 bucks, yeah. World, even no matter how far it is, by the way. An Mal and I are like 20 Healthcare minutes from the hospital. Wide, it tends to be it's a good hospital. It's like 500 it bucks. It's insane. It's either funded through Take taxes an Uber? and a single-payer system, or else through Sometimes it gets there faster. who are more strictly monitored. Other countries Not joking. They don't have this problem. Instead of every private insurance company negotiating with every healthcare provider, there's just this big list. Country, the central government, they go and they say, if you want to sell to us, to all of our people, then here is what you can charge for a checkup. Here is Man. what you can charge for an MRI or a prescription for Lipitor. Bottom line, while there can this is still be crazy. extra charges, for most of the world, medical debt is basically unheard of, except in horror stories about the U.S. I, uh, so I worked at a health insurance company for six years. When I was a web developer, that's what I did. Uh, I could tell you they didn't do much work. <laughs> I, not much work happened. Uh, it's, it's all bureaucracy and people justifying their own jobs and like, it's, it's, it's bloated and shitty. It's not like actively trying to hurt anybody, but it's like a government job where like, you don't need five people doing this, you know, and that bloats the cost and blah, 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 you know, it was, uh, it was pretty bad. It was pretty bad. Uh, Yeah. Corporate life is is a scam. You work like two hours a day, if that. Can't Depending on where you work, card. obviously, you know. I can't buy a house. I don't see me ever being out of debt. Before we get to our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. Free refills. Hell yeah! Restaurants will fill Thank up God for that. Even more drinks for free. Yep. And with lots of ice. And lots of ice. Free water as much as I want. I want to drink my sugary syrup. And that's my God-given right as an American. Thank God. You guys have to pay for refills with your tiny little portions. Throw baby showers. Many cultures see them as bad luck or in poor taste. Wait, really? Bad luck? Oh, God. That's scary. Oh. Wear shoes indoors. Sure, not every American does this, well, but it's still considered weird in a lot of countries. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that is weird. That's white people shit. I definitely do it. But I think it's because, one, I have hardwoods, and two, I just never learn not to do that. Like, I'll do it if I think about it, but if I don't think about it, I'll just leave my shoes on. You're, sh you're not supposed to. It's not like I want to. It's just I don't think about it, you know? That's true, though. That is weird. I am an American, and I think that's weird. I'll give it up. I'll give it up. Advertise drugs to consumers. <laughs> Pharmaceutical companies' clout allows this. Annoying uh, hey. basically everyone but them. I brought These up that one Twitch ad that I saw. That was bizarre. US, that everywhere. was strange. On average, 80 of them air every hour on American television. Damn. Ask your doctor. Ask your doctor. My doctor told me. Use red plastic cups for alcohol. Who decided on these for every American party? What do you guys do? What do Europeans use? What? Seriously? We do that. Yeah, what blue plastic cups. That's what I was that was what I was gonna say. You guys got a different color over there? They use their hands? Like the king used to. Like like at medieval times. Just gotta slurp it up. <laughs> yeah, what clear cups? That's not as cool. That's an L for you guys on that one. It's a fat L. Red cups are based. Nice cups. There's a whole song about it, too. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our What's channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. I'm mad confused. You have the option to be notified Not no other countries, problem. 
If you're on your phone, there's a lot of people sure that don't know settings, world geography. It's so cringe. You don't even know where like certain countries are, like Number Egypt. Number one, use the imperial measurement system. Ah, can you explain yeah. to me? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. How the country that can send right. the, um, men and hopefully women to the right. moon, yeah, all and beyond, still are in gallons and inches. That's mm. true. And when the entire world is metric, I do not understand this. There are three countries in the world that don't use the metric system. <laughs> Myanmar, Liberia, and the United States. Why? Objectively, metric is the less arbitrary measurement system since everything goes by tens. Even Britain oh, and that's Commonwealth neat. countries have converted. The point is, the US system has always been a little more accessible than metric. Sure, stacking up 12 thumb widths to make a foot, that's still kind of weird, but it's not so weird that we're clamoring to change it. Although admittedly, they do still use measurements like feet and inches casually. So now I can't okay. ask a distance when I visit another country. I'm I legitimately don't know how far a meter is. I always have to look it up. I actually don't know. Three feet? No, that's a yard. A yard is three feet. Oh wait, a meter is three feet? Wait, really? Oh. Oh. A yard is a meter. Oh. Oh, we all learned something tonight. Amazing. That's great. I'm glad everybody learned something tonight. Who That's gives great. a shit? <laughs> I give a shit. I want to know. I, I'm curious. I don't know anything about this stuff. I, I dude, I was making my Hello Fresh meals, and it said a tablespoon and a teaspoon of of this stuff, and I almost, I, I almost screamed. I don't know what I'm doing. The food came out delicious, but I think I used too much garlic powder. I'm like, how far is that? They're like, that's 500 kilometers. Ugh. I'm not in the Olympics. So why hasn't the U.S. converted? We'll give you one guess. Did you say it's because of money? Because money is definitely a big factor. Converting Why? to a whole new system of measurement is expensive. Other factors include a need for control and stability of the U.S. Tucker so Carlson inertia, on Watch Mojo. Why change when you don't need to. The the metric? No thanks. <laughs> is this really? Was this really on Fox News? Tucker Carlson defending imperial measurement. That's so strange. So inertia, basically. What? <laughs> Why change when you don't need to? And okay. You know what your mom says. If all the other countries jumped off a bridge, would the U.S. do it too? Or something like that. A 2015 Rasmussen poll asked Americans Damn. if we should switch to the metric system. Absolutely and not. Celsius as our main temperature scale. 64% said no, while 21% said yes. And the remaining 15% <laughs> was undecided. 15% is like, I, I, uh, how much is a meter? I don't know how long a meter is. So it looks like we're perfectly fine with being different. Do you agree? That's weird. That's strange. I didn't know all that. I didn't know that you guys were so backwards in your thinking. If you're watching this from Europe or any of those other, I, I don't know, Asia, wherever you're from, God, I hope things get better for you. You should move here. And especially if you're an adult because you don't have to do the Pledge of Allegiance thing. That's the weirdest part. That's the worst part. Coney, you're literally the problem. No, I'm creating the problems, but I was built in the problem, so I don't feel like I'm dealing with it. You have to deal with it. As someone else in the world, you have to deal with the fact that I'm not using your crappy measurement. We are the, the leading world export in culture, so deal with it. USA. Top 10 grossest food facts. Ew. Ever? Ever? Probably. <laughs> Skip. I have to know. I have to know. Probably something about whoa, 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 whoa. pink slime. Other countries judge our right? pledge, but hasn't the queen in every room? Probably something. Well. Really I'll good. skip if it's if it's if it's gross. But I'll, I'll hit the I'll hit the forward. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our. I have to know. Top ten gross facts about food. Grossest hey, facts like ever. Come on over here. Yeah. Give it a lick, Larry. For this list, we're looking at the most disgusting facts about the things that Ugh. you eat every day. 
Let Every us know day? in the comments if you'll be switching up your diet or braving. Oh, these dude, it's going to say pink slime. It's going to say pink slime. Number 10, cochineal bugs. What are those? The cochineal insect is a small bug endemic to the Americas. Underneath its waxy exterior ah. is a vivid red due to the presence of karmic acid, which it uses as a defense mechanism. Uh -huh. Cochineal bugs are one of the very few insects that produce red carminic acid in their bodies. It's there to stop other insects from eating them, but this acid is also the source of E120, as found in the pink icing of many a fairy cake. This acid oh. can be extracted and diluted with other substances, creating a bright red dye. Oh, so it's red food dye. Or natural red four. Now watch this. We're going to add a few drops well, that's of okay water. If you just eat synthetic and watch dyes. What in just seconds, it turns into a brilliant scarlet red dye. This bug extract is harmless. Just eat preservatives. It's fine. It's long been a common additive to make food. Oh, redder. dude. For thousands of years, people have been using these bugs to dye everything from clothes to pottery. That's kind of cool, dude. I can't believe that, like, for thousands of years. So we're talking, like, ancient Egypt found these bugs and were like, fuck it. I'm going to smash them and make my clothes red. That's cool as hell. That they thought of that. That's just man overcoming nature. That's but not it wasn't gross. until more recently that they made their way into commercial. It's not like you taste it. However, most people don't like the idea of an insect as part of their frappuccino. Most people are Starbucks weak. Starbucks discovered in 2012 when people protested the use of Carmen dye. Company spokesman did tell us they started using cochineal extract yeah. to move away from some dyes and other artificial ingredients. That the extract is FDA approved and that it would never do anything to harm its customers. Starbucks ended up removing the dye for an alternative. Whatever. Number nine. Wait, there was an alternative the whole time? <laughs> Wait, what? There was another option? I thought that that would just be like, oh, well, we have to use it, but they're just like, oh, no, there's something else. <laughs> okay. That's kind of annoying. I kind of get why I'd be mad at them, too. Isn't honey. It's widely recommended that Poison. children under the age of one shouldn't consume honey at all. I did know that. It can sometimes contain bacteria that is dangerous to a baby. Yeah, kids can't eat honey. The vast majority of honey is safe to eat. But because of the chance of a baby contracting botulism, yeah. the recommendation is important to follow. And since C. botulinum is it's so gross. common in our environment, researchers believe that bees pick it up on their way to the hive where they produce honey. Botulism is also a dangerous disease for adults to contract and can even cause paralysis. But oh my adult God. digestive systems are able to process the spores in the honey before they multiply enough to become a life-threatening illness. Oh! And usually, uh, the signs of paralysis uh, start upwards. So the first symptom Bro, that we see what? in patients with uh, botulism poisoning usually is the drooping of the eyelids. I will never eat honey again. That's disgusting. Um, and then can spread downwards. All right, fuck bees. Wipe them out. I was waiting for an excuse. To kill all the bees, thank God. It's certainly Send it to err on the side of caution. And Send the crop dusters. Oh, dude. Away from babies. We want to be I really hate careful bees. About they sting you and they make poison. Have honey, like a honey graham cracker they make or paralysis juice. Um, or even the little pacifiers oh, that are dipped in honey. Number eight, shellac. You may know this substance better by the friendly nickname Confectioner's Glades, which makes it sound like a delicious sugary I don't coating know what that for all is. kinds of tasty treats. But while shellac isn't harmful when used in food, it's another common additive made from bugs. Tiny okay. insects suck the sap from host trees and secrete an amber-colored resinous pigment known as lac, which females use to create a network of tunnels so they can move around on the branches. Uh -huh. Specifically, shellac is a resin secreted by the lac bug, which is indigenous so it's to bug tunnels. Thailand and is also cultivated in China and Vietnam. You've almost certainly eaten shellac, too, if you've ever eaten common candies like jelly beans. Okay. Perhaps more disturbing than shellac's insectoid origins, however, is the other products it's also used in. Bro, which who cares? Nail and furniture polish. Bro, that's amazing to me. That's not gross. Again, it blows my mind. Like, I, it just blows my mind that man is has this level of ingenuity. This is why we're the apex species, right? Because we saw a bug and we're like, oh, I'm going to add that to candy. We saw a cow and drank the milk. That's insane. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. You have to take risks in order to, to receive a reward. And that's why I did the TikTok stream tonight. I hope you guys understand. It's just like this. Those are some Had to try it. Definitely don't want to eat. 
Shellac is it was content poison. I polish. didn't know. It is what we like to call a hybrid polish. It goes on like a polish, but it has the wear and durability <laughs> we saw a of a bat gel and without ate it. Well, damaging your own natural nail. Dude, they eat like monkey brains pink too. Slime. In like You've Africa, they have like the, the, the meal. Oh god! Circulating on the ah, the pink Did slime. The substance, and more importantly, have you mm. ever eaten it? It's said to be the entire chicken. Eyes, guts, bones, ground up into something called mechanical. Yeah, if you fry it, it's poultry, fine. Fry it. Not Just fry us, it. Says McDonald's photo hoax, but pink goo won't go away. The answer <laughs> to both of those. Oh, it's not real. Likely, yes. We're fine. Pink slime or quote lean, finely textured beef is commonly added to processed meats like ground beef and hamburgers. In fact, some ground beef might be more pink slime than fresh beef. I, it's hey. economic fraud. It's not it's not uh, fresh ground beef. But it's, it's good, a substitute. though. It's a cheap substitute being added in. It's used so that meat production companies can make their beef go further by diluting fresh meat with the processed alternative. But it's, Ew. This but it's still tasty. It's openly sort of admitted to being in at least 70% you know, of It's not okay, products. but like, and what are you going to do about it? The pink slime was officially categorized as ground beef on its own in the U.S. <laughs> it's safe to eat, but is it worth it? Yeah, that's Number beef. <laughs> Kopi Luwak. Whatever, it's when beef. When most people drink coffee, they hope that the coffee... Do not enjoy the pink slime. Yeah, Watch Mojo, why don't you let people enjoy things, hmm? Don't you let people enjoy it? ...hasn't already been consumed, digested, and excreted before going into their cup. What is Kopi Luwak? if you're a fan of the luxurious <laughs> This Kopi dude's Luwak name is Kopi. Coffee, that won't be the case. This, right. this bag costs at least a hundred bucks. All right, now, and we're gonna... I've heard it was also from somewhere else. Oh, we're gonna talk about that after um, we all take a <laughs> drink. Okay, y'all ready? Huh? Though Kopi Luwak is internationally recognized as delicious, it's made from coffee cherries that have been eaten and pooped out by the Asian palm civet, a cat-like mammal that lives throughout Southeast Asia from India to Indonesia. It comes yeah. out like that. Yeah. And that's that's the magic stuff. Okay, I was wrong about human ingenuity. Why did we do that? The other stuff like makes sense, right? You see a bug and you turn it into candy or whatever. Like who did this? Who fed one of those things to this cat and was like, "Mmm." Supposedly this adds to the flavor, but does that matter when knowing how it's produced will turn your stomach? Yeah, that's a little on the okay. bright side. It's Finally, so a gross food fact. That there's no danger of drinking Thank it by God. mistake. Kopi Luwak, the rarest beverage in the world. Take a whiff. Go ahead. Don't don't Number whiff. 5, Rennet. There's a reason why lots of cheeses Number aren't 1 should for be ranch dressing for people with other dietary requirements. And it's because many use rennet in their production. Rennet is an enzyme commonly found in the stomach lining of calves uh -huh. used to separate curds and whey in milk, something you have to do to make certain cheeses. Okay. The calf produces okay. enzymes to help them digest their mother's milk. is easy. Luckily, there are lots of vegetarian and vegan alternatives, That's such not as that bad. extracts from figs and nettles. Though almost as gross is the rennet alternative that uses mold. Animal rennet and the cheeses that use it I mean, aren't going to do you any harm, but we won't judge you if knowing this changes the way you think about cheese. Yeah, well, I don't understand. Who cares? It's lining from the cow, but you eat the cow and drink the cow juice, and that's fine, dude. Number four, shrimp poop. Shrimp what? If you've ever prepared a meal or a recipe that uses shrimp, you've probably had to devein your ingredients. Not me. But what exactly is that? I thing? order that. Well, actually, it isn't a vein, and it has nothing to do with blood. Okay. No. It's the shrimp's intestine, and it's full of exactly what you would expect an intestine to be full of. Oh, that's kind of gross. And what we're looking for there is that little dirt sack. That's ah. got to come out. Otherwise, if you cook the prawn with that sack in there, yeah. it's crunchy, it's not very nice, and it ruins that sweet flavor. It's impossible to gotcha. tell exactly okay. what's in the intestine, since you don't oh. know what kind of garbage that shrimp is eating know that. still alive. But if you have a weak stomach, you'll definitely want to pull out that vein. Ugh. Removing this will enhance the final result of the dish and ensure. It I mean, that's kind of gross, but Thankfully, like, there's little risk in eating a shrimp that hasn't been deveined. Seems easy to do. Change the taste. Somewhat. It's almost like God made it for us to eat. Now you're ready for shrimp appetizers. Shrimp if God didn't want us to eat that, He wouldn't make it so accessible. Shrimp stir it's fries. right there. Shrimp skewers. You just pull it, the whole thing and comes out. You've saved some cash. Number three, castorium. There was one point you were uh, talking to a bunch of kids, and you said that it, it, vanilla ice cream uh, contains beaver. 
A beaver anal gland. Oh, gland. beaver! Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, come okay. On. You telling me you don't like a little bit of beaver anal gland? This is yeah, I forgot case about of that. So-called luxury food item being one of the most disgusting yeah. things known to man. Castorium is an extract. Yeah, this is the beaver thing. In a yeah. specific beaver gland called a castor sac, which is used by the beaver. <laughs> Why do you say it like territory. that? He hates beavers. The problem? That gland is in the beaver's anus. Harvesting castorium is difficult, time-consuming, and expensive, which is why <laughs> that poor beaver it in the most high-end luxury goods, specifically costly vanilla ice cream and some. That poor beaver has to be extracted. You hear me? Hey, stop, hold it right there. So you can eat you vanilla ice cream. Ice cream. In your mouth, yeah, it's just gonna be animal poop the very, rest of the time. Very, very big trouble. Don't Whatever, beavers eat trees. I'm not too worry, like worried no, about it. You know? ice cream won't contain castorium. If a product is friendly to your wallet, it probably didn't come from a beaver's butt. Number two, dead wasps. Ah, if you've yeah. Eaten fig, chances are high that you might have also eaten That's why I don't the eat figs. remains of a wasp. Yes, really. Look at that. Inside, there are brown males ah! and black females, each with a specific job. That's because, as maligned as wasps are, they're highly important. All right, I don't like that one. The ecosystem and are the main don't like that of one. Some of the figs that we cultivate and you eat. got two gross Within, facts, Watch Mojo. The cavity is lined by both male you got and two bad flowers. ones. Oh, Each God. is little bigger than a pinhead, but some of the female ones have been parasitized. Female fig wasps will climb Ugh. inside figs to lay their eggs, but the catch is they need to be male figs, or the wasp can't get back out. The wasps can't tell which figs are which, and often they'll die an unpleasant death inside. That's gross. But at least okay. she's delivered the pollen, yeah? Yeah. And, hey, good news for us, an enzyme inside the fig called ficin breaks down her corpse into protein. So it just ingests the dead wasp and makes it part of the delicious okay. ripening Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm ready eat. for the next one. Thankfully, the fig is perfectly capable of digesting Stop the talking. So this has the most time of anything else on this one. video yet. Just go. Before we go continue, next. be sure to subscribe go to our Wait, what's number one? Milk. Did you know milk comes from the udders of a cow? Okay. And switch on notifications. Number one. What the FDA allows. Huh? Next time you use that jar of spice, take a close look because it's possible you might find something like this. Most people Aww. have heard horror stories. A friend. Possible you might. Aw. A little buddy. Hey. You find something like this. Most people will have heard horror <laughs> that stories. That thing probably went on a US crazy journey if he got packaged in with the, the pepper. products that the American public consumes. And unfortunately, many of those stories are completely true. Whatever, when it comes dude. to food safety, everyone has a responsibility. We cannot let our guard down. There are quote unquote acceptable levels of all kinds of dangerous and disgusting things. What kind of world do you want to live in, bro? Allowing hairs and insect fragments in peanut butter. Allowing over a dozen maggots in a can of mushrooms. Okay, that's gross. Allowing traces of I would never eat mushrooms. Widely mushrooms. consumed hot dogs and insects in raisins. Yeah, and like, I, allow... I just don't, like, when you harvest this stuff, it's like, obviously there's going to be issues with it. I, it. That's how you harvest it. You can't pick every single tomato for a bug. Tomato it's, paste and whatever, pineapples to contain certain it's levels fine. of mold. It's fine. It's fine. If you want to continue to eat food without feeling horrible, it's best you don't look into FDA food regulations any further. The FDA says the best thing They're to doing do to the ensure best they your can. safety is to wash and cook your foods thoroughly. Do you agree with our picks? Whatever. Grossest food trend. Dude, it really wants me to watch this Tom Brady video. <laughs> but I won't do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm not watching the 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 Tom Brady video. By the way, do, do you brush off your food? Yeah, that's a good For your point. safety is to wash. Do you have to brush your cucumbers? What? Cook your food. Ugh. I had to wash my Hello Fresh stuff, but I didn't do that. All right, now it's time. <laughs> For the top 20 most annoying video game characters ever. 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 I bet the book from It Takes Two is probably on here. Number one is probably... Navi? No. 
Omo Chow. Wait, is that the fan? Is that his fan? Oh. Now today we're counting down our picks for the top 20 annoying video game characters. Oh, them? They're super famous. That one. Her. That one. I I remember her. I remember her distinctly. That one. We're looking at the various characters and games that have irritated us to no end, whether they intended to or not. Gex? Which character got on your nerves the most? Gex rules, bro. What do you mean? He's so below. funny. Number 20, Conrad Werner, Mass Effect Who? Series. It's me, Conrad Werner. We met on the Citadel. I wanted to become a Spectre. Oh, uh... Bro, what the hell is up with this Shepard? Conrad Werner. We met on the Citadel. I wanted to become... Bro, that shepherd is messed up. What happened to this guy? Come a specter? He's oh, so cool. Uh, no, he's evil. Face. Out of all the Mass Effect he's games, he's awful. Jesus Christ! I hate poser. that guy. More... Look at his hair; it's so gross and greasy. Oh, I hate Conrad that guy. Burner. This guy idolizes you in the most unhealthy. Dude, look way at the frame possible. rate. Oh Not my god. That, but he we really like thought this was next gen. And we'll try to mimic whatever personality you give Commander Shepard. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> that's pretty cool you, actually. Somebody had to do something. You, you can influence this guy. Up. Luckily, you don't have to make your encounters with him pleasant. Why be polite when you can just deck him across the face or shoot him in the foot? Dude clearly has no identity. And the sooner we got away from him, the sooner the game Come got on. Good. He's your friend. He's you like a fan, right? Number He's a 19, nice guy. Mr. Rossetti. I love Animal Mr. Rossetti, bro. Now, I did not play the game, so maybe that's why. Mr. Rossetti rules. This is so funny that Nintendo did this. I can't believe they did he this. Hasn't been as big of a nuisance in recent games, but when it comes to annoying characters in our favorite games, Mr. Rossetti is still worth bringing oh, up. Man. This angry mole will lecture He's you. He's trying to help you. you yeah. Your console. What for? Well, you most this likely dude's shut on your side. game without saving. <laughs> as a kid, I got stuck on him for an hour and cried. Wait, does he really take that long? Does he? Hold on. Mr. Rossetti time. How long does it take? Hold on. How long does Mr. Rossetti take? I have to know. It's got to be somewhere on the wiki. I don't... Roll in Animal Crossing. Turn off. Resetting frequently. Makes him repeat a line of text to remind them... <laughs> Maybe makes them say, I repent, I'm sorry, or even I like you. Dude, I want to know how long it was. It's like five to ten minutes? I was going to say, I don't remember being long, right? Look, man, we're already facing the consequences of having to get ourselves Tiver back said to where make we kids left cry. off. We lost progress. Don't make us waste even more time listening to you moan. I do remember it being like horizons, ten minutes. But we also sort of don't. <laughs> Poor Rossetti, bro. If you don't type his command correctly, he makes you do it again. Hail payment! So you do remember him. That green guy. He looked just like that guy down there. Who did her voice, bro? Why. I bet she's got a bag now. Whoever did her voice. Person. Some of them have limited communication skills or speak slowly. Paimon, on the other hand, can talk in complete sentences and form complex thoughts. So when Dude, we she's love constantly Paimon. butting in with Paimon thinks or Paimon says, it gets on our nerves extremely quickly. Oh, them? They're super famous. I just okay. hate anime Infamous voices. Is more the word. It doesn't make her cute. It makes her irritating. That's just anime girls, dude. Isn't this just anime girl? Like, any clip that I watch is just a woman doing this voice. Paimon, we're gonna do what I decide we're gonna do. Maybe they're if all moe animes. Some monsters for a couple of that's hours, a thing, right? <laughs> that's what we're doing until you figure out how to refer to yourself in the first person. Buddy, you're we overselling it. you're capable of doing that. All right, let's hey, dial it back. So... Dial it back. You're at a 10, and we're only at number 17. Let's number 17, dial it back. Trophy Thomas. Banjo Trophy Kazooie, Thomas. Nuts and bolts. <laughs> <laughs> Who is that? 
<laughs> Who's Trophy Thomas? If you haven't heard of Trophy Thomas, then you must have skipped nuts and bolts. This self-absorbed cheetah constantly brags about having the best scores in every mission and will try to discourage you from even trying. This guy rules! What he doesn't seem to realize is that once you unlock super parts, jets, and the like, his scores are mere child's play. <laughs> this guy's bragging about beating to Trophy Thomas. <laughs> He's bragging about Many of his records will be beaten in a matter of seconds. Really? Tommy boy, you're not as hot as you think you are if a jet, super fuel, and homing missiles can decimate your Why is drive. a grown man going on a rant about Trophy Thomas? Now, excuse me while I slap on a couple of lasers and super Why engines. Why does he to hate Trophy record? Thomas Again. so much? <laughs> it looks just like Ninja. Oh my god, it really does, dude. Just something about- I love the number one chain. I love Trophy Thomas, bro. I love number this 16, guy. The rabbits. Raving rabbits. Oh, this should be higher. I hate these guys, dude. By the way, this game, not as good as people say. In all honesty, the rabbits are It's okay. Are either gonna it's not bad, them. but some folks love them for their manic and troublesome behavior. People went crazy Others for this game. I stand them. It's pretty good. Because of their laughs and I got bored yelling. after like Indeed, 2 hours. They can sometimes emit the noise of an unruly forum or comment section. The difficulty curve sucks. So I didn't even get to that point. I just got bored. Agitated. I was like, just I get it. You know, I get the games. gameplay. I just. However, Ubisoft hasn't been so rabid in putting the rabbits in every single thing in existence, and the bad bunnies have gotten their mannerisms under control lately. So that's why they're a bit lower on the list. I wish they would go away. I hate rabbits. Number 15, Alpha 152. Who? Dead or Alive series. What's this? There are legions of fighting game bosses that will enrage you to no end. Dude, this blew my mind when I saw it. I remember seeing this in DOA and like seeing like the places you could fight and getting knocked out of a window. Dude, I legitimately could not believe what I was seeing. Alpha Getting knocked out of a window into another arena was insane. Even though it looks like Kasumi, almost none of its moves are identical to the Ninja Girl. Instead, you can expect flurries of kicks and throws that will have you accuse the game of input reading. Well, it's a fighting game. <laughs> Even worse, it's like what they Alpha do, will right? Spam her teleporting abilities without notice. All logic is thrown out the window when fighting Alpha 152. And with all of her strings relying on sucker this guy's punching really you, she's turning the most annoying this. fighting game boss ever. Ever? The difference between being difficult and being an annoying sack of hate and misery. This guy doesn't play many video games. Number 14, Ashley <laughs> Graham, Resident Evil 4. I don't remember her being Ashley that bad. Graham, the president's daughter? Is she... Well, you I don't remember her being worry. that bad, She's right? Cool. Ashley is she was kind of annoying, but like, character. you know. Her interactions with Leon are sometimes hilarious and sometimes tender. Her colorful personality brings a sort of lightheartedness to Resident Evil 4. So, She's just an she escort mission. List? That's well, all. Her AI is a load of garbage. <laughs> <laughs> she was confused. She's in a new and scary place, dude. We Come can't on. Tell you how many times Ashley has gone in the way of shots that would have been clear kills. There's already enough chaos and rabble Where'd she go? between the villagers and monsters coming after us, dear. <laughs> we don't need you running in the middle of our aim. A dishonorable shot. I would to honestly, Sheva dude, if you put me in the middle of this village, I would be alive. Ashley too. I'd be scared as hell. Please save me, Leon. Please help. Number 13, Mr. Pop-Up. Trover saves the universe. Oh, looking for the crystal of Ithacles, huh? Dude, I'm so happy that this, the Rick and Morty trend of speaking didn't catch on. I'm so happy. Because, like, you know, when, when, like, a style of comedy or, like, a way of speaking becomes popular, usually it, like, becomes all media. You know what I mean? It just goes everywhere. But Rick and Morty, like, and, and really just this guy, whoever makes it. I don't know if it's Dan Harmon or the other guy, Justin Roiland. Like, it's just their thing, which is fine. 
Because if everybody else did the Rick and Marty voice, this shtick that this game does, oh my god. Well, I, I wouldn't be able to enjoy any right media here. at okay, all. We understand that Trover Saves the Universe is a Justin Roiland game. When Comedy? No, it's funny. Rick and Morty's a funny sure show. It's a good show. It's still hilarious in some capacity. It's a little up its own However, ass Mr. in the later Pop seasons, but it's a good show. And this is a funny bit. It's just if everybody world. did it, you know. Okay, great. That's Michael's house. That's the house I need you to destroy. He is an absolute thorn in your side as he pesters you about offing his neighbor on the mountaintop. Eventually, the player and Trover come to the decision to off either Mr. Pop-Up or his sadistic and menacing neighbor. Just an FYI. He wants you to kill to his choose. neighbor? You can pick both. We certainly did. Anyways, good luck, you <laughs> shit. <laughs> you. I'm going inside. Number 12, Preston <laughs> Fallout 4. Ready. That's my dude. I love Preston. Okay. Let's rest a second. I love it when he told me that if a settlement you know needed help. I needed that, bro. You know exactly I love to be helpful. Preston Garvey is on here. Credit where it's due. <laughs> Preston is a good chap. He wants to help rebuild. Preston is so funny, dude. Want to? Thing is, he expects you to be his errand boy. Hey, I got word of a settlement that needs our help. <laughs> it's the same thing every time he needs you for a mission. Preston Another is so funny. Help. I'll mark it on your map. At some point, Pressy, maybe you should go and check out the folks that need our help. We got it. Dude, Fallout 4 is so old already, Jesus. Yeah, it really is. I remember before it came out, my coworker who sat like at my corpo job is my coworker that sat in the cubicle next to me, and he loved Fallout. Loved Fallout. And uh, I tried to keep my normie, like, I, I'm trying to stay undercover, right? They don't know what I'm into. They don't know that I like video games. So he's like, do you have any games you recommend? I'm like, uh, what do you what do you like? And he told me, like, Fallout and stuff like that. And he liked some other stuff that was a little bit deeper. Uh, I was like, you should try Far Cry. And he was like, okay, I'll try Far Cry. I, I want to see that. Which one should I start with? I'm like, well, the newest one is basically the same thing. I think a four was out at that time. And I was like, try three, try four, something like that. Dude came back to work after a long weekend. He was addicted. I may have ruined his life. He was like, yeah, I, I, put, I put my kid to bed, and uh, I started playing Far Cry, and then I looked up again, and it was 5 in the morning, and my wife got mad at me. I was like, yeah. Yeah, dude. Yep. Eventually, he left. <laughs> he left the company. Uh, a little bit after that. And maybe he just became a Twitch streamer or something. I don't know. Maybe he's just gaming all day, every day. Yeah, dude, he loved Far Cry. He fucking loved it. He would, he would like, him and I talked a lot about Fallout uh, at the time. So, it was funny. A but it was so right long ago. It's so weird to think alive. about. What are you doing? Just standing around and saying the same five variations over. True Coney fans will remember the Fallout 4 Bernie Sanders run. And over again. <laughs> I forgot I did that. Oh my god. I played the game as Bernie. That was Number pretty 11, fun. General Zhao, Sly 3, Honor Among Thieves. Bro, this dude! The Koopa family has been beaten by the chicken! Zhao. Our legacy is superior. <laughs> Bro, there is Sly Cooper no guys move like Sly animatronics. As I forgot General about Zhao. that. Some may describe him as they all move like Chuck E. Cheese things. Like it's so funny. Something else that YouTube censors wouldn't be too happy to hear. The black magic of the family Tao is unstoppable. I remember Zao this one. I remember this dude. With insults, acting like his line of tyrannical ancestors is this gift from the gods. However, the real reason you'd want to smash your cane in his face is because of the misogynistic stuff he'll spit out. <laughs> Something tells us he was one of those kids who was never told no. What? What? The chicken hates women? What? Name one time he said that. The black magic of the family Tao is unstoppable. Number Wait, there's no there's no example of it? You can't just do that. Oh yeah, he's also misogynist. The Sal the Chicken, definitely anti-Semitic. I heard it in the game. Ten. Gex the Gecko. <laughs> what is Gex his problem? That's rough. libel, yeah. Start giving me the business. I care about it. I don't know what they're talking about, bro. Gex is funny. 
we can see why some folks like Gex. He can be a bit of a chat at times, and his overall design is kind of cool. <laughs> Who the thing wrote is this? That the dude has watched way too much television. Just about every single thing he utters is a reference to a TV show, and chances are you may not get most of his references. And if he ever does say something original, it's out of smarminess. I am the Lizard King. Hear my roar. Eventually, pretty funny. Gex views himself He's as pretty the funny. thing since sliced bread. <laughs> Big talk coming from a guy who lives in the small screen. Is this guy trying to bring Gex down a peg? What is this guy's problem? Gex thinks he's not, funny, but survivors. actually, he's not funny. <laughs> okay, this one's spinning. This one's good. This one's true. Oh. Look, that's there a good is no point. One survivor to put on here. <laughs> Especially since survivors are also players. The thing is, we are talking about a particular kind of player here. Literally Killers. all of them. You know exactly the kinds of survivors we're talking about here. This game sucks. The survivors who bring nothing but game. meta perks like dead hard to negate hits, adrenaline to extend chases, and decisive strike to instantly break from the killer's grasp. Dude, this guy sucks at Dead by Daylight. It's even worse when they refuse to participate in normal gameplay just to spam flashlights or bring brand new part for a toolbox add-on. Wait, why did... Play just to spam flashlights or... Why is he destroying a pumpkin? Halloween event? Bring what purpose does this serve? Why is he destroying pumpkins? Speed? This speeds you up? Brand new part for this guy definitely battle. plays Dead by Killers. Daylight. That's Show his main game. Meta never guarantees wins. <laughs> Dead by Daylight is tagged. Number eight. Ugh. Tyrene and Troy. Borderlands 3. Your number one most requested murder. It's the great heretic herself, the Firehawk. True, by the way. This one's true, but it's also well, look who every character luck. that speaks. Sure, Borderlands 3 has its own section of fans within the Borderlands community. But one thing many can agree on is just community. how insufferable the brother-sister duo are. Like Trophy Thomas and General Zhao, their arrogance <laughs> Not is the on trophy full Thomas. display for what feels Leave like Trophy hours Thomas on alone. <laughs> this, is this guy hates what made Trophy Handsome Thomas. What Jack so memorable was his creative insults, screwed up sense of humor, and sometimes real moments. Tyreen and Troy, on the other hand, come Handsome off like a Jack couple of had real moments who think they're all that and never grew up. There's no depth to their characters, only cringe. Oh, are you, kill you. Are, okay, I can't there's no depth to a Borderlands character. You can't see yourself in a Borderlands character. There's no vulnerability or anything there. You rat face bastard. This Number guy seven, Porky Mitch. Mother Okay, series. hold on. That's cool though. You want Porky to be annoying. Don't worry. I love this is Porky. The last time we're bringing up Porky's funny as hell. Porky is definitely worthy of being on this list. Porky of rules. How his hatred and jealousy seem to be the entire foundation I love of Porky, his personality. Bro. That's my guy. He's funny as hell. <laughs> He's always trying to find ways to one-up everyone else and come <laughs> off like the top dog. In other words, the kid's got no chill. Thankfully, he gets his comeuppance when he deliberately seals himself in the absolutely this? safe capsule. Immortality isn't all it's cracked up to be, Porky. And you're about to learn that the hard way. Poor Pokey, bro. He's literally a child, by the way. He didn't deserve that. He's a he's a fucking kid. Like kids are annoying. <laughs> Vanille, Final Fantasy thirteen. Something on your mind? Huh? Oh, I. Uh, I don't know, Vanille. I was just thinking. About what? Something complicated? <laughs> Normally, we'd fall for a woman like Vanille. Sweet, carefree, loves animals. There oh, the one with the pink hair. Where she okay. Can be too much, and unfortunately, those moments are where we resent having her around. <laughs> First off, 
She makes a ton of childlike grunts and moans, as if every motion she makes takes all of her strength. Then, there's the likelihood of her sobbing at even the mildest of sad moments. We can appreciate She's an someone anime seeing woman. the sentimental side of things, but Vanille cranks it up further That's just than it anime. Needs to be. That's not... I'm glad I'm not crazy. I'm glad I'm so Chad said it before sorry. I did. This is why I can't watch these Japanese cartoons. Number five, Agent 14. Happened Grand in Final Theft Fantasy Five. 7, Hello? too. Yes, yes, That's all they do. <laughs> no, you've destroyed everything. More oh. or less. Up, 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 up. Rockstar can sometimes get carried away with its over-the-top characters. While I don't remember everyone this has guy. Their favorites, Agent oh, it's GTA Online? Oh, never mind. I played the real stand. game. For starters, he often comes up like he does not care for heists in the slightest. <laughs> Dude, if you don't like this, why are you giving he us... He doesn't like heists! Second, he sucks at his job. Mr. Crest... Everybody loves heists! talk about work. Let's get to our first but not here. <laughs> He'll drop these random bits about loving drug deals and gun running. Man, <laughs> we all know you're some secret agent trying to catch us or something. If you're gonna half-ass your cover, at least humor us or pretend you're legitimately into heists. <laughs> then... This guy hates this character because he pretends he's an undercover cop. And he's like, wow, it's so annoying. You don't even like stealing money. I can tell. Why don't you go back to your government job? You sell your weaponry to state-sanctioned actors on the global stage. What? Make a tidy profit. That's the whole the point. He's clearly a government this. agent. That's the bit. <laughs> Number four, the adoring fan. The Elder Scrolls 4. All right, Oblivion. this guy looks funny. I don't know anything about this dude, but I love him. By Azura, it's the grand champion. I can't believe it's you standing here next I love this guy. Whatever you do, stay as far away from the arena as you can. Should you become the grand champion, you'll be forced to endure one of the worst <laughs> nightmares he look in like the Elder that? Scrolls games. The eyebrows the kill me. Fan. Golly, you're the best. I'm going to follow you and watch you and worship <laughs> the ground you walk on. Can you Allow kill him? Weirdo to join you on your quest and you'll forever hear by Azura, by Azura, by Azura all the damn time. You can't kill him? He isn't even useful in combat. He'll just run around panicking and trying to find a place to hide. You can he kill him as often as you want and he'll keep coming back. Wait, are you serious? Are you serious? That is amazing. That's awesome. <laughs> Even if he does die, I love show this guy, dude. Later. Your best option oh, there you go. He shows up a few days later. Home. Amazing. At least he listens. Okay. Well, I'll be I love hanging this, around the arena grounds if you need someone to worship the ground you walk on. <laughs> Bye. Number three, Slippy Toad. Star Fox. Come on. 64. Slippy, walk out. Walk Slippy's doing her best. His best? I actually don't know. I thought they had me. You know, we yes. have to wonder how exactly. I was gonna say I've never thought about it. Make it onto the Star Fox team. While he's taken more of a backseat. I thought Slippy games, was a girl when I played this as a kid, so I never, <laughs> I never Falco looked it up. Star Fox 64. You want a piece of me? Slippy, the Slippy you hatred is a meme, that. bro. Slippy hatred is a meme. There are times where he'll try to intimidate the enemy only to get flanked. Heck, he even tries to tackle a boss in the middle of the fight and gets his butt swatted into Titania. The kid doesn't know his own limits and abilities, and it certainly shows... I think Peppy is more annoying, because Peppy is acting like your dad in these games. He's always got shit to say to you. Navi. Wait, number two is Navi. Oh. Of time. Yeah, Peppy's always, like, trying to talk down to me, like, oh, your father loved that. Shut up, dude. Old ass. Get out of the plane, Grandpa. Okay, kids. Can anyone explain why Navi is considered one of the most annoying, insufferable, irritating, agitating, ear-piercing nuisances in all Omo of Chow? the no way. If you guessed by purely existing, well, you're not entirely Eric wrong. Eric Sparrow? I was wondering Whoa. if Eric Sparrow would be somewhere. I was thinking about that, but... Claptrap? No. Navi has gone down in Zelda infamy as the most annoying character in the entire franchise. With Fee from Skyward Baby Sword. Baby Mario number one. A close second. Throughout no. Ocarina of Time, you will. They would have put that earlier. Navi say the same three phrases for every little thing. Hey, listen, watch out. We've heard them incessantly for decades. You know, I played this game and I didn't think it was that annoying. Day. 
I think I I think I think there was a period in gamer culture where like people needed stuff to like connect about. You know what I mean? Before the internet was huge. And I feel like back in those days, like the first thing people went to was like, wow, Slippy's annoying, huh? Yeah, LOL. It's like people exaggerating on GameFAQs boards. You know what I mean? And it just sort of continued into the modern age. It was it was the earliest thing you could connect with a fellow gamer about. It's the same reason the cake is a lie was so big, right? Is that like it was that new generation of like YouTube just came out and everybody's talking about Portal. Kind of interesting, bro. I don't know. It's kind of fascinating. I don't know what the modern equivalent is. What's everybody... I feel like gaming is so, like, like insular now in terms of, like, what fan base you're in, you know? Like, what's the current thing that everybody... Among Us? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like, what's the... I don't know how to phrase it. What's, like, the current social trend? Uh, I guess it would be Among Us. I don't know. I was trying to think of something with FNAF, Before but FNAF continue, I don't think is as huge sure as it used to be. subscribe to our channel and ring the but bell to wrong. get notified about our latest videos. Fortnite dances? You have the to be notified for well, Fortnite, yeah. Like, in general. If you're on your I have phone, no idea who's number sure one, by the way. Make sure to go into your settings and switch on I have no clue. Number one, Baby Mario. No! Super Mario World 2. He's a Yoshi's baby, Island. dude! Babies cry. This guy's a terrible dad. Dude, the baby what? gets hit. The baby got hit and he's crying because he needs help. Could be more infuriating than hearing a pest of a companion say, hey, or listen every minute. He's How about scared. A wailing to no end the second they're separated from you. That's exactly why baby Mario gets the top spot. That's so sad. Baby Mario serves as your one free hit from enemies, and as soon as you get that hit, he cries and cries and cries from within his own bubble until you retrieve him. He's you a get to baby, hear this dude. On top of a timer beeping until it reaches zero. It is without a doubt the most rage-inducing combination this, of this sounds is a meme. in the history of video games. This is a meme. It's, it's literally baby just Mario a baby crying. Is absolutely the most annoying video game character of all time. I hate this narrator, bro. I never want to hear from this guy again. <laughs> I don't. I know he didn't even write it. He didn't even write this script, but I hate him. I have a baby. You should be blessed that the baby only cries when you get hit. Sometimes babies just cry, bro. Dude, I, I was on dad duty tonight. I had to put Juliet to bed. She was just crying. I couldn't make her stop. She was literally crying and saying, Daddy. I'm like, what are you... What, huh? Didn't want applesauce. Didn't didn't want to read a book, didn't want to do any just crying. That would be very funny in this game though, if the baby just cried for no reason all the time. <laughs> that that actually that would make it the most annoying, actually. If this was a realistic baby. By the way, did you guys know that there's audio of the uncompressed baby crying in this game? Hold on. Yoshi's Island restored baby crying. It's exactly what you thought it would be. That's it. <laughs> there you go. So, I don't know if you're expecting anything fancy, but that's the sound it makes. Pretty interesting. Did he ever upload my favorite song from Yoshi's Island? He does, like, restored things. But he didn't do my favorite song. Hold on. Uh, what is it? It's like... Maybe I can find it on here. I don't remember the name of the song, so I don't want to search for it. Oh, God, he did a lot since then. Whatever, I'll look for it later. Oh, he did Kirby! Oh, look at that, then. He's gonna get DMCA next. Nope, it's restored, so it's different. They'll be okay with it. <laughs> Phew! In the mood for more awesome gaming con- Not in the mood for that. Not in the mood for that one. People ignore. Alright, one more for the YouTube. 
I got one more for the YouTube, and then I got a couple more just for us that probably won't go on the YouTube. <laughs> okay. These are... Wait. <laughs> this is probably going to have a lot of... Uh... This is probably going to have a lot of crossover with some other stuff we've done. But I have to know, what are the top 20 most ridiculous sports mascot moments ever? Ever. What did these sports mascots do to get on such a list? What is Grunty doing here? That's his name, right? Gr <laughs> Gritty. That's it. I was thinking of Banjo-Kazooie. <laughs> he looks like a Grunty, right? That's it. Welcome oh, to he's so silly. <laughs> How Welcome ridiculous. to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 20 ridiculous mascot. What the fuck is that? Is that the Colts mascot? Is that even a horse? Got moments. I hate that. Blue. For this list, Ugh. we're looking at absolutely insane moments involving sports mascots. What's the craziest thing you've ever seen a mascot do? Be sure to share it with us in that. the comments below. What that pirate's doing right now. Number 20. Tama visits the fans. Live mascots can be unpredictable. Stupid. Especially when they have wings. Tama is a beautiful <laughs> auger hawk what? who represents the Seattle Seahawks and has been Don't trained kiss by the a bird. master oh, falconer from we a young age. He's one of the Pecked hardest out, working dude. birds in the show business and there's never been any sign that, well, he doesn't love his job. At Seattle home games, Tama flies out of the tunnel, hyping up the crowd oh, and that's enjoying a cool, bit of time I guess. in the spotlight. During a 2013 game, however, she took a moment to rest during her pregame <laughs> ritual and landed on a fan. The chosen fan reacted as calmly as can be expected. That guy's mad as hell. Tama made for some great photo ops. After the game, the That's bird terrifying, tweeted dude. an apology. That's but so in scary. in 2021, Tama landed on another fan. So we wonder if someone might have ghostwritten the tweet for her. Oh my god, it's like scratching yeah. its head. Oh my okay. god. Just getting scratched by those talons? Why is it landing on these guys? Their heads don't even look that hospitable. Season tickets back after this. Get him a helmet. Number yeah, I, did, I would think Lewis she would land on something with like a stick or sure, I don't know. Like, costumes have some padding, something that's a little bit easier no to land on. Substitute for helmets, football pads, and years of experience. During an Ohio State <laughs> spring practice game what is in 2013, that? a bee? Buckeyes mascot Brutus went a bit nutty and decided to play quarterback. Ohioans, what the hell is this? What is, he looks like a Cinnabon. He's a nut. It's a Buckeye nut. I don't know what a Buckeye is. He's a nut. Okay. The team, however, pulled no punches with the beloved nut. Cool. As I didn't realize that Buckeyes were nuts, field, and that's your team? Him to the ground, causing him to let go of the ball. <laughs> Why is he being the quarterback? Kill him. Dumbass. Thankfully, Brutus was okay, but maybe he should stick to staying on the Why sidelines would you for now do on. do that? Number 18. Bucky Badger steals a flat. <laughs> this photo? Oh my god. During this Where will he go with it? Game between Michigan State University and the University he looks of Wisconsin, so pleased with the himself. Badger's mascot Bucky stole the Spartans' flag and ran with it. Naturally, the Spartans did not take kindly to this. Oh, a Michigan damn. Michigan State cheerleader confronted Bucky and tackled him to the ground. A cheerleader? Oh, poor Bucky. Oh no! The scrap lasted only seconds before it was broken up, but the Damn, Bucky swinging. managed to get in a final <laughs> shove before leaving the scene. Maybe the football team should have recruited the cheerleader. Hey, sorry about sorry about that cheerleader, bro. My bad. Badgers, Forty to ten. Number but he did get he did beat the hell out of your mascot, so. Bears can be scary even when they're inflatable. In 2014, the Houston Rockets had an amazing roster, but even they weren't immune to jump scares. That's a big bear. That would scare me too. Oh my god. Practice, the inflatable clutch the bear awaited them. The players reacted That's in terrifying, very dude. different ways, with some simply stepping away from the bear and others lightly punching it. The most intense reaction, however, was Dwight Howard's. The three time defensive player of the year threw his phone in the air and kicked clutch before he realized it was a joke. <laughs> That's pretty good. Oh shit, that was a big kick. That actually would have hurt. Both clutch and Howard. Damn, dude, it like made a sound too. I hope that guy wore a cup. Number 16, Banana Mascot versus Security Guard. 
Sure, peanut butter what? jelly time pretty much belongs to dancing bananas, but other folks can get in on the fun too. <laughs> During this Tampa whose Bay mascot Rays game, is a this giant banana, banana mascot banana. challenged a security guard to a dance. What team is this? Anybody from Illinois in the chat? The Illinois Peelsters? The security guard, however, had an arsenal full of incredible moves. This gentleman I don't think is that's really a security guard. Bay Rays games for his amazing dance skills, but apparently the banana did not get the memo and was stunned by his response. The banana might have lost the dance off, but at this least would have been a TikTok with 20 million views. He decided to split. Oh my Number god, 15, he's dancing. Fear of the deer. NBA All-Star weekend <laughs> How is get up a there? fun time, especially <laughs> when the mascots get together. During the 2009 All-Star Weekend in Phoenix, the Milwaukee Bucks mascot what? Mango decided to stand behind the backboard. Mango, don't do that. Don't do to the hoop. <laughs> As he climbed over, Rufus of the Charlotte Bobcats hit a no-look behind the back shot Mango. off of Mango. As the Mango, Buck applauded his rival feline, he slipped and fell through the hoop Ma himself. Mango, that's so stupid. Why are you up there? I'll hit him right in the dick. Oh, <laughs> Mango Donk. Mango, you idiot! Oh, God! Right in the penis. Dunk. That's so sad. Oh, look at him. Look at that face. Oh, God. Oh, no. Wait, did it go in? Did it actually make... Did he make the shot off his penis? What a shot! That's incredible. That's an assist for Mango. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Look at his leg. I'd be in the hospital. Dunk. Mango tore his ACL during the fall. I bet and he made did. Appearances in a wheelchair and with a knee brace during the remainder of the season. <laughs> Number 14. Wait, he kept showing up for the job in a wheelchair? Dedication. Good for him. In a Good for him. And with what the hell is this coming up, by the way? Season. Is this number a... fourteen? The Cal Bear versus the Stanford <laughs> Tree. Watch again in slow motion. This a tree. In are oh the God! The During a 1995 <laughs> basketball game between rivals, the University of California. Berkeley I love that bear. Stanford he looks University. so friendly. Oski, the Cal Bear, allegedly taunted the Stanford student section. Oh, he shouldn't have done in that. In retaliation, the Stanford oh, he's trying to shoot. Tree attacked the Cal Bear. Oh man, that's a real fight. Fuzzy mascot's head. The scuffle devolved into a full-on brawl on the court before what? the two mascots were finally separated. Bro, can you stop? It's What's over. your problem? It's over. The bear, clearly shaken, doesn't know which way to leave. <laughs> what While is that no bear's problem, filed, dude? The incident did happen live on ESPN, which allowed the entire country to see the fight in real time. Number 13, <laughs> Mr. C punches Vanderbilt student. As if the mere image of Mr. Commodore in basketball is shorts that? isn't terrifying enough, you apparently it's just a Joe Biden pirate. Have to worry Who's about Mr. C? On top of it. During a 2011 basketball Look at his game head. in Tennessee, the Vanderbilt mascot went crowd surfing in the student <laughs> section. Once Mr. C was done surfing, he grabbed That's enough. That's enough. Come here. That guy owes me money. Nose. Come here, you shit. Ha! <laughs> The student's nose immediately started gushing blood. <laughs> he tried to stem with newspaper before leaving the section. Perhaps the most impressive oh thing is God. that the student apparently did not get his shirt dirty. Number two. Why did he do that? The thing is that the student apparently did not get Why did he punch him? For what? This is the perfect crime. Excellent work, 47. <laughs> shirt dirty. Number 12. Puddles versus Shasta. Oh in no! Nature, a match oh, Puddles is going crazy. And a cougar would have a pretty obvious outcome, but that isn't so in the wild world <laughs> of sports. During this 2000 <laughs> Puddles seven game between the Oregon Ducks and the Houston Cougars, Puddles stop. Puddles and Shasta got That's into obscene, it on the Puddles? before the Houston cheerleaders helped break it up. Puddles refused to let it go after Shasta did push-ups on the field, a signature practice the former performs anytime Oregon scores points, and the Ducks started beating up on the Cougar even more viciously. The student portraying Shasta was also a walk-on wide receiver for Houston and refused to exchange blows with the Duck mascot. Puddles, Puddles was an actual player? Bro, that's a no, He hit the Puddles' elbow. Boom! <laughs>
Morgan scores points. He, he actually sold it too. His knees like buckled. Like ow. Costa was that also hurt. a walk-on wide receiver for Houston and refused. Uh, bro, to Puddles is a menace. Duck mascot. He's Puddles mad as hell. For a game due to the fight. Truthfully, I think the Ducks should have gotten at least a two-game suspension and been served a la orange to the Cougar. I'm real good. Boom. <laughs> What is he cool, doing? Dude, not cool. That's sexual 11, assault. Extra spicy wild wing. What? This is one hot wild wing. Not the Anaheim Ducks in 1995. Oh, the cat is the player? The cat was the player, not the duck? That's even worse. You got messed up by a mascot, dude. Home opener. Their mascot wild wing apparently got a bit chilly. Instead of putting on a coat or scarf over his <laughs> uniform, the duck took a much more direct approach. Encouraged by the team's power players, Wild Wing tried to jump quality? over a pit of fire. Wild Wing, no! The ice is quite slippery, and Wild Wing fell into the pit. Ow. Thankfully, he was rescued by the power players, and the fire was put out. Number 10. Good. Benny the Bull proves chivalry's not dead. Oh, not this. Seemingly completely unaware Come on. that he's on the Jumbotron, this Celtics fan grows more and more agitated as his partner not attempts plants. to get his attention, and even appears to yell at her at one point. That's when Chicago Bulls mascot Benny the Bull appears. He shoves the Celtics fan, pours a drink over his head, and carries the girl away to the delight of everyone. Oh, if how delightful. If you thought this one was too good to be true, you're right. It was confirmed as fake by the Bulls PR team. Wow. Still a good one, you though. You don't say. Number nine, Mackerel Jordan eats <laughs> What is that? It's what is Mackerel Jordan? Although not affiliated with any specific team, Bro, Mackerel he's huge! Jordan is quickly making the case that he should be. Oh no. In this particular clip, the mascot begins entertaining the crowd between innings before yeah. approaching a grounds worker who's raking the infield dirt. Uh -huh. The pair engages in a game of fetch before the worker pulls the classic <laughs> hidden ball trick. But this doesn't sit so well with the fish, who immediately Ow. swallows Ow. the unsuspecting worker before eventually spitting him back out, albeit with slightly it's Tom Kitch. There he goes. Ooh, used his ultimate. Wait, how did they do that? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. How did they do that? It's magic. How did... That's not a, like a two compartment he thing. Less clothing. He stripped his clothes inside the suit. How do you fit two people in here? Stomach acid? Well, they left on his underwear, which is nice. And if you thought this was too good to be true, you're right. This was confirmed staged. Number eight, Crunch the Timberwolf. <laughs> Needless to say, this is not the feature game this afternoon. Mascots playing football against children is one of the stranger <laughs> traditions in pro sports, but right or wrong, it is absolutely hilarious. Wait, Who can I watch these full games? Giant gopher costume stiff arming a 10 year old kid on his way to a touchdown. Dude, in that's this amazing. In particular instance, Crunch the Timberwolf gets a little antsy and jumps the snap count, <laughs> bursting through the line before the ball has even been snapped to hammer the defenseless quarterback. <laughs> Man, crunch, crunch stop! That's a sack for Crunch. Got his ass. Crunch was voted mascot of the year for 2011-2012. Obviously. Bro, this rules. Crunch was voted mascot of the year for 2011-2012. I want to watch this so bad. High school kids against grown men in mascot costumes. Just dumping on them. That is incredible. What is this? Wait. Best of Pee Wee football, kids versus mascots. Incredible. Amazing. That's next. Oh my god, dude. 2012, oh. obviously. <laughs> Number seven. Wait, it's 10 year olds? That's even better. Rollerblading Raptor takes a tumble. Twice. I think I've seen this one. What is he rollerblading on? Oh, I'm stupid. It's For basketball. Whatever reason. I, um, <laughs> tend to push the okay. I didn't know he would be on the stairs. That's that dangerous. Or football mascots likely never what would. Is he doing? Case in point, that time the Toronto what Raptors is he mascot doing decided this? it would be That's a good so idea sad. to rollerblade down the what stairs of the doing? Air Canada Center. People are going to spill beer, dude. The entire way before oh. slipping and falling on his rear end. Undeterred, he poor picks guy. himself back up and continues onto the court before fully face planting. Oh, dude. Even inside an inflatable costume, that's gotta hurt. No, the good news is, although slightly is he okay? Planted, the mascot was okay. Okay, thank Number goodness. Number six, oh. Lane Walker's mascot blunder. Ow! Oh my god! Ow! 
good. Jesus. Lane Walker is an incredible athlete and Olympic hurdles champion. That she looks awful. Her best during the 2009 Dude had a World whole human being Berlin. on his back. She won the gold medal with a time of 52.42 seconds, the second fastest time in history. It was her post-victory celebration, however, that most people remember. <laughs> Immediately after winning, she jumped on the back of Berlino the Bear, the mascot for the championship. Oh, he shouldn't have done that. Intending to do a victory lap. Unfortunately, That's Berlino the bear's fault. failed to Ow! get up and crashed into a car. Oh hurdle, my god! Causing him to drop walk. That's like in the solar plexus. Oh, he's okay. I get it. No, dude, that guy's in so much pain. That guy doesn't want to show it. He is winded. Good for him, dude. Honestly. That's like right in the chest. But apparently neither one. That guy's messed up. Number five. Stuck Sharky. We are experiencing <laughs> what happened to Sharky? No, Sharky, get down! First, How'd you get up you there? Go to a San Jose Sharks game, you can expect to see SJ Sharky entertaining the fans with a number of unique stunts. Oh, God. Events. Dude, that padding is not going to help. That's so high. What do you mean? Those are two gym mats. He's going to burst through the ice. He's going to return to the water. Perhaps best known Someone for help his grand him. entrances, typically <laughs> coming down from the rafters, much to the delight of fans. Oh, Things Sharky. didn't go so smoothly on this particular oh, evening no. back in 1999, however, He's as just Sharky stuck got stuck there. hanging over the ice. The game was actually delayed while they tried to get him down, which they finally did by hoisting him back up to the catwalk. Good job. I'm glad he's okay. Yeah, who thought it would be a good idea to drop him, dude? That was two gym mats. He would have died. That was so high. I'm glad he's okay. Number four, Tommy Lasorda confronts the Philly Fanatic. That's the quickest Tommy's moved all year. Bro, I hate the Philly Fanatic. We gotta mark that down. As manager of the Los Angeles he's Dodgers, annoying. Tommy Lasorda won 1,599 games and two World Series titles. And he did not have time for mascots. For example, <laughs> We've during seen one, one game against the Montreal Expos, <laughs> he hates mascots, bro. He mascot, hates those. Yupi was ejected from the game. <laughs> but his most get the fuck out of here, fanatic. The f fun of me. It knocked him out. <laughs> that thing was full of bricks. <laughs> Number three, Craig McTavish rips out Harvey the Hound's tongue. No, not Harvey. Ow! <laughs> Although Craig McTavish failed to lead oh, the Edmonton no. Oilers to the playoffs in his final three seasons, oh the Harvey, Knicks, he did manage to take them to the Stanley Cup Finals back in 2006. Oh man! Even so, he may be best remembered. <laughs> Look at Harvey's face, you son of a bitch! That's definitely coming out of his pay. The poor guy in this suit is gonna have to pay for that tongue to be re-sewn. For his actions during a game against that the poor Calgary guy Flames back in 2003. The Flames mascot, Harvey the Hound, began taunting the Oilers. Okay, that's a long bench. tongue. An to be fair, immediately called the mascot over, grabbed his tongue, and ripped it out before tossing it into the stands. Calgary won that game, by the way. And you can see that I use my legs and my back, and I pull it out like you're starting a lawnmower. That guy's back very Canadian. Number two, Crazy Condor. Not Condor more live birds, dude. <laughs> That's terrifying. It. There's a reason it's most huge. don't use live mascots, and this is it. The Bakersfield Condors of the American Hockey League decided it'd be a good idea to bring That's out gross. a real condor before the game. No to way. At center ice. The bird had other ideas, however. It escaped its handler, thanks in part to a timely spill on Why are you putting a condor on ice? Made its way over I think it's to supposed benches, to fly. Hilariously terrifying the but, uh, players it's, before deciding maybe it's very tired. Entirely. It's pretty big. It looks exhausting. I would not fly if I was that big. It's not even doing anything bad. It was just walking around. to our channel and ring the bell to get notified. What's number one? I feel like I had to have heard of this. the option to be notified for occasional videos. This has to be something I've seen before, right? Phone. Make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, front flip fail. Oh. That looked really bad. What's better than one mascot making a fool of itself? 
one mascot making oh! a fool of itself and injuring other mascots. Oh my process. god! That's exactly what happened when Bernie, the mascot for it's the just Miami a swanton bomb. to front flip over a handful of mascots on their back. I like how it's still, he's still popping off. This is my moment. At center no, I made it. I definitely made it. I made it. I'm clear. Ground, I'm definitely clear. Well short, and he landed oh. directly on the final three of the group. The mascot suits may have been smiling, but the guys underneath All three were of them in a lot of pain. He oh, landed yeah. on there a hammer. Guys under there. That's about at least Hopefully, what a hundred pounds landing on you, mm. maybe more. Hopefully, he had some padding. <laughs> That's all you can hope all for. It. Oh. oh. Do you agree with our picks? Check out. Dude. Over on phone number. Ow. Dude, the hammer got the worst of it. This hammer, dude. One. Your settings. That hammer guy got fucked up. Number oh man, look at oh my god. Well, maybe not actually. Number one, I think Dora the Explorer here got it worse. That's like on his, yeah, this is on Dora's chest, right? Like, this is all of the air is gone. Oh, but he's getting kicked, <laughs> he's getting the actual heels. Come to think of it. Dude, I don't know who had it the worst. I really don't know. This is like that uh, that Alvin and the Chipmunks image, but with pain. Who had it the worst here? Excellent work, 47. Listen, if 47 is in that suit, he had to have checked like 50 boxes to get this to line up. He had to get all three of them to complete their routines and lay out here. <laughs> How did he do that? This is a special achievement. Oh, God. Goosh. All three of them. just And, and the audacity Flip. to pop off after you do that. To put your hands in the air and say, Yep, I did it. That's how this trick is supposed to look. I don't think this duck realized how good he had it. That duck is just... He doesn't realize what just happened next to him. Oh, God. Okay. All right, that's going to do it for Watch Mojo tonight. Hey, sorry about the gross food facts. Hope you weren't eating while watching that. Uh, but if you were, now you know more about the food you're consuming. And uh, hope it tastes a little bit better with the bug facts. Because there's probably bugs in what you're eating. Blame the FDA. Thanks for watching. Hey, if you liked it, go below the video. Drop a like. It really helps out the video. And it'll make you feel better. But for now, we'll see you next time. Say bye. Bye, YouTube. Goodbye. Okay, now they're going to miss the actual stuff. All right, now it's time for the after party. The YouTube's done, but now it's time to watch the real stuff. And you know what that means. Top 20 Danganronpa executions. <laughs> what? What? I did watch the first one. This game is... I don't get what the point of it is. Ultimate Annihilation. Like, uh, you, okay, so if you don't know what this game is, it, I, I think it's supposed to be something where, like, it's it's some kind of, like, saw thing where there are, like, executions and deaths and stuff. Uh, and it, when people die, it's supposed to be all sad and serious, but this is so fucking goofy. Wait, there are 20 total executions? Oh, really? Oh, do I even want to spoil it then? I don't know if I want to spoil it for any nerds in the chat, right? What is this? Baseballs? What the heck? Oh no, she hated baseballs. Welcome that to was her Watch least Mojo, favorite sport. Today we're counting down our picks for the top 20 insane executions. I hate Danganronpa. And we're gonna put you in a tanning bed and turn it up to 100. No, he loved tanning. Across the Danganronpa games. In case you haven't played any of these enthralling games, here is a spoiler warning for you, and it's a very, very big spoiler warning. I would love to play these games if they were funny and not anime. Comments below. Number 20. I love you, man, bye but bye you're wrong. Algies. About what? Oh, they didn't. <laughs> he didn't love spare. tanning? They don't love tanning? Okay. Did that person not love baseball? Is that what it was? Not the most impressive execution of the bunch. 
After getting found out and dragged off by Monokuma, she's found out for what? What's the whole? What's found out mean? What is to a okay, seemingly inconspicuous? I don't know what this. I don't get this. Series. I don't know what Murder? Wait, do they all murder each other? Rocket arm. It's Clue. Oh. Yeah, we're not exactly sure how this. They have to murder the someone and not get caught slash thing, voted out. Let alone Mikan's moment of questionable okay. ecstasy. It's an execution that's but they have to kill logic, someone. But its bizarre spectacle still fits with Danganronpa style. Well, and then how are there this many executions? Being launched into the because not everybody's killing people, in. right? Number nineteen. Okay, Ultimate whatever. She got shot into space. Danganronpa V three killing Harmony. <laughs> Killing Harmony had some really intense moments throughout the story. Play it While and find out. No thanks. Been a little bit better. Absolutely not. Was still somewhat entertaining. With Sumugi revealed as the true mastermind, Ultimate Annihilation commences with our best robot boy, Kibo, going into killer Astro Boy mode what? and blowing the entire place into oblivion. Wait, that guy's a character? Why couldn't he just blast himself Although out of the wherever? the cosplayer's death is the ultimate disappointment, seeing Kibo fly around and obliterate the place was still kind of cool. Yeah! We even had a okay. brief moment of sorrow. For your execution, we will force you to watch <laughs> TikTok on the fresh account. No! Burp, 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 burp. I'm a mom, and I just want to say it's not okay to let people talk to your kids this way. Burp, burp, burp. Check out this brand new meal plan that I have where I take broccoli and I'm putting cheese on it. Burr, 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 burr. Our best robot son. Would you eat the broccoli with cheese? God, I hate it. Kyle Thomas. Burr, 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 burr. Number 18, Excavator Destroyer. Oh. Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. Huh? With how over the top and extreme the rest of the executions were in the first game, it was honestly a little underwhelming to see this. Then again, how else do you off an artificial intelligence program inside a laptop? As punishment for Chihiro's what? AI alter ego, Monokuma brings out a large excavator piloted by a beefier version of himself. The music is haunting, and the rapid fire smashes of the machine kind of make it hilarious to watch. What? Well, that's a computer. Wait, so it didn't kill a person? Clearly, Monokuma wanted to be thorough, and the mark left on Alter Ego's remains leaves a haunting reminder as to who we were dealing with. He kills the computer. Okay. Kony, you need to play it to understand. No thanks. Number 17. Blast off. Danganronpa trigger happy havoc. What sure, the first music? execution we saw in the series isn't anything special compared to everything else we've seen, but for new players, the blast-off execution helped set expectations for the remainder of the game. Uh -huh. A man, whose identity is revealed much, much later in the game, is strapped inside of a rocket, <laughs> blasted into space, yeah. and sent crashing back down. But, like, not like a show. Like, he actually... Upon opening got the door, shot into space for phony remains collapsed. Okay, so he died. It's got a it. hell of an introduction to the series, showing how crazy the deaths will be while adding to the mystery behind Monokuma. How did the bear put a rope a rocket together? Number 16. That could Spears Oh my god, what the hell is this? Rampa, trigger happy havoc. Ugh. Are you enjoying yourself now? Are you? Hmm? One question most new players would ask early on is, why don't the students just trample this psychotic bear? They're bigger than him. They can take it's him It's complicated. On. Just stop his Why is everything in this well, game complicated? Well, the answer came up rather Ugh, unexpectedly Jesus. early on. Ugh. Muku, I, I mean Junko, attempts to defy Monokuma, refusing to participate in the murder game, and even going so far as to stomp on him. What she forgot was one critical school rule. Do not harm the headmaster. To me, godly spear, Gunnier! Oh my god. Monokuma calls forth the spears of Gunnier, and within seconds, Junko is no more. It was an execution done so quick that it reinforces how high the stakes have become. And there's even more meaning to it uh -huh. when you experience it a second time. I was gonna say, didn't she die earlier? Why? What? Me? 
Is that character dead or Number not? 15, Stampede. Danganronpa 2, Goodbye Despair. Yeah, this game... Uh, okay, I'm gonna go to number two. What? This just is not... Like, I, I don't even know what I'm looking at. It's better if you As don't ask questions. It's just, but it's like game, so... This was the one to set the tone for the rest of the executions in Killing Harmony. Our beloved Kaede is forced to endure what many oh my God. to be the most brutal and violent execution in the franchise. With a rope around her neck, That's kind of fucked up. Is okay. Up and dragged across a giant piano so that Monokuma and the Cubs can play a brief melody. Okay, that That's kind of fucked up. I don't know how I feel about the music Done playing. In by the constant strain, Kaede is shortly entombed within the piano spiked cover. Along with the obnoxiously loud Mono Kid, which, hey, no one's missing that one. She wasn't even the murderer. Okay, I. For him. But Monokuma what, what's number one? Quickly what? becomes excited about her own execution. That's the baseball. The what? Ultimate punishment. He made what? Okay, this was a bad idea. <laughs> this game sucks. <laughs> Ew! Oh, is this the baseball guy? Bees? It's a fitting end for the ultimate entomologist. Monokuma fires out mechanical hornets from a Tommy gun at a helpless Gonta. No! No, he studied bees! No! Meanwhile, at the sidelines, Monophony is going through a bizarre pregnancy. What the fuck? From her stomach emerges a giant mutant hornet that proceeds to go after Gonta and finish him off. As if he wasn't dead enough, Monokuma busts out a flamethrower, roasting both the giant bug and the ultimate entomologist. Hey. Okay. All right. This is... It's complicated. Is it? Is it really that complicated? <laughs> Anime sucks, dude. <laughs> what the fuck? <sighs> okay. All right. Last one. I was actually interested in this one. I don't think this is something for YouTube or anything, but I actually am curious. Uh, top 10 video game leaks for 2022 and beyond. I don't know any of the leaks. I haven't been keeping up, and I'm sure this will be shit that, like, is probably already known or not true, but... Welcome to Watch Mojo. It's 10 minutes. Today, we're counting I'll down see. our picks for the top 10 video Why not? game leaks for 2022 and beyond. Oh, kids versus mascots? True. We'll watch that tomorrow. I'll put that on my uh, I'll for put that list, on my watch we'll be later. Because the rumors and teases it's like about some of the biggest almost midnight. <laughs> Which of these leaks do you hope is true? We'll Let watch it tomorrow. Don't comments. worry. Don't worry. Number 10. Mario Kart 9 nears the end. Dude, I development. did hear about this. It was like uh, they're doing the Smash Bros. thing for Mario Kart. Did you guys hear that? As a mainstay on nearly every Nintendo console since its inception, it should come as Which no makes surprise sense. Like, what else could they do now? Claimed that a ninth title in the kart racing series is nearing its final stages of development. The five years since it might just be fake, but I saw some stuff recently about it. Mainline so. And since that was just a re-release of the Wii U version, we think the Switch is long overdue for a new title. I've heard it like a few different While places, never been and not in the same leak or whatever. Game on one and obviously, before, I had no idea if it's true. But oversaturation can rest easy, knowing that the rumored sequel reportedly comes with a fresh twist on its well-trodden racing gameplay. I don't know how you change Mario Kart other than adding different characters. You know, I feel like you gotta do that. Number nine, Gears of War six announcement. Cringe. Six times, I can pick you up. Coming your way now. We'll be here. Come I don't down. understand Gears of War, dude. A new third-person shooter series hasn't been officially announced. I don't know. I guess it was cool when it came out, right? About its eventual release. While it's only been a short It probably would have changed my life if I played it when it dropped. Force now leak sets the I've never even up given it a shot. <laughs> I'm just March. hating. That was a bullet sponge. Three years is actually right in line with the franchise's usual release pattern, even among developer shufflings. Don't be setting aside funds just Games yet, about, like, bugs, right? It's like Space Marines with bugs and stuff, hardware, something like that. We may not get our hands on the new title for a few more years after all. Oh, 
got you. Gears of Storm, more like Tears of War. Number eight, Amazon Lord of the Rings MMO. <laughs> cool. Middle Earth. Dude, I did not realize how There's popular MMOs were. On the horizon, and no, MMOs are Call crazy Despite popular. Niche, but stable audience for not even like Lord of the Rings Final Online, Fantasy XIV or like, you know, WoW, on the franchise, but like other with ones. A new MMO to presumably go with Man. Their upcoming live action series. People are still playing the hell out of New World. If all that sounds familiar, Lord of the Rings Loki's a bad. <laughs> the whole Only thing? The whole franchise? Due to agreement issues with the developer. I've However, never seen it or cared about from it. So, as I don't as know. July of 2021 point to the title being back on track with a beta on PC set for September. I forgot they're making a Gollum year. game. Why are they doing that? Who was clamoring to play as Gollum? Number 7, New Donkey Kong. Please game. God, dude. Whoa. For the love of God. Ground. Bro, how he got three three things? How he got three hearts? I'm playing through this right now. I only got two hearts. Why he got three hearts? Pound and pull your weight with some serious Kong muscle. If his consistent appearances in a number of spin-offs and crossovers are anything to go no, by, don't. gamers are absolutely bananas for this tie-wearing I'm not bad. With all that brand recognition, it may be hard to believe that he hasn't shouldered a solo title since Tropical Freeze in 2014. Damn, dude. Does Donkey Kong just not sell? What is Nintendo gonna do, man? Pokemon, Zelda, and... The Mario are the only the three they can rely on. What are they going to the do? For something fresh may finally be over. A reliable leaker recently divulged that the franchise's grand return has been in the works for several years now. And if that timeline's to be believed, an announcement is sure to come sooner rather than later. Oh, Thanks Animal Crossing. Funky I didn't think about that. Yeah, yeah. Can be Bro, Funky's going crazy. Number six, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Good. This game title. rules. My cow. What's her score? This game rules. Huh? Very good game. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's go. I just Only want more Souls-like games, bro. Series, the Souls games in different environments, you know? A new direction in 2019 by offering a new Was it actually good? Yeah. Campaign. Yeah. It's it just, it's a Souls game, but easier. Sales and good reviews, leaving many fans hungry for the tea Which is, like, amazing. We need more of that. Stim! I just played through it again. It was just as good. It's just on this great. It's a good, good game. By, a few tidbits have begun to surface. Like, apparently, it will drop the Fallen Order subtitle entirely instead of going with a numbered naming scheme like other Star Wars games. Given its recent Are you going to play Elden Ring on stream? Yeah. I don't know how much on stream. I don't know if I'll do the whole thing. Depends on, you know, if people actually want to watch it. But I'm definitely going to play it. Pre-ordered it never I hope five, it's good. Fable 4 release. Coney loves Star Wars? No, I hate Star Wars. I just like that game. Stories. But I don't like of Fable. Legendary I've never even played After Fable. Years of I just don't like the way it looks. The long-awaited next installment in this acclaimed fantasy series was and also Peter's crazy. <laughs> Xbox game showcase in 2020. Only for the franchise to go dark again soon after. That is Fable always just NVIDIA looked very GeForce dull leak, to me. That you know what I mean? Tentative 2023 release. Mr. Fart Enjoyer. <laughs> Remember, he liked the Atomic Fart one. The best. That was his favorite. Also let slip that production has been underway for several years. Bro, look at that kid's face. Oh my god. Adding credence to the idea that it's closer I to remember when PC. graphics were While good. It's impossible to we were like, we, I saw this in a magazine. Large, I was like, whoa! The continued constraints of a certain it looks like pandemic, that! It seems a 2023 launch isn't just Ugh. a pipe dream anymore. Yours. Why do they look like that? It's fantastical, bro. Written. It's magic. Number four, Xenoblade Chronicles 3 announcement. I am asleep. I am sleeping. On the other side of those clouds. I am a sleeping. Maconis. After the last entry became Yuck. the best-selling in the Xeno series, a sequel feels <laughs> Let's go? Where? Fuel to what do you mean? Is the fact that developer Monolith Soft initially dropped new content in the form of DLC and a definitive edition <laughs> before mysteriously going quiet <laughs> for the past two years. The Monado won't work for a bunch of losers like you! Is this a Coomer game? I'm not being funny or joking or being ironic. I'm honestly asking. 
Because when I see pictures, it's, like, absurd. Two is, one is not. Okay. I'm not, I'm not memeing. Like, I'm actually, like... Two is definitely a Coomer game, one isn't, and you know I'm spitting because I'm first-time chat. Yep, that's true. Thank you, Sly Raitang. Okay, thank you. Yeah, when I see a first-time chat, I know it's real. Thank you. I know people aren't lying. Because every time I ask a question on this stream, there's a yes and then a no immediately. Or the opposite. Thank you for the first-time chat, brother. Appreciate it. <laughs> one is also a Coomer game, bro. Okay, well, now I don't know what to it. think. In a YouTube interview, <laughs> Malia's voice actor, I don't know what to Coleman, think, bro. revealed that she thinks they're working on the sequel. While this could just be an educated guess on her part, amid the mountain of other evidence, we'd put good money on a reveal coming soon. Xenoblade 2 is fantastic. I do see pe Wait, is Xenoblade in the same, like... Is it in the same sort of series or anthology of whatever as, like, Xenogear, Xenosaga? Is it, like, the same kind of thing? Not exactly. Yes, yes, no. See, there it is again. I just mean, is it from the same, like, series as Cosmos? K-O-S-M-O-S. Because I remember reading about that series, and I was like, oh, that sounds kind of neat. That's It's like about Christianity or Catholicism or something. Number three, Grand Theft Auto 6 rumors. Never. They'll never do it. Why would they? Why would they? You've got online. That's six. Why would you make a new one? You'd think as one of the most widely anticipated titles in the whole gaming industry, we'd know a bit more about the status of GTA 6. Why would 6. you want to make While one? While plenty of ports, remasters, and DLC have kept fans appeased, those hungry for the next installment have been tormented... I remember seeing a leak on 4chan like seven years ago books. about the GTA 6 like starring a woman. And it was like, whoa, what a big deal. Reportedly, development has and now here we are, six years later, times. or however long. But take that with a grain of salt, since previous leaks about a 2021 reveal and Miami setting proved untrue. Basically, all we know for sure is that Rockstar has been hard at work trying to live up to the Unreal hype, and the rest, we'll just have to wait and see. They're gonna miss eventually, right? Rockstar can't hit forever. Well, I guess people said that 4 wasn't good. Number 2, Metroid Prime Remake. <laughs> <laughs> I am a sleeping. Good night. Hot off the heels of the successful launch of Metroid Dread in 2021, Nintendo doesn't seem Bully to be was ass. You need to rescind that opinion right now. I loved that game. That was a good game. I don't know if you heard that. That's that's my daughter. She just woke up. Oh, poor girl. Did you guys hear that? Did anybody hear it? It sounded like a cat. I looked over. I was like, "What?" But I have her on my monitor to my right. You didn't. You did hear it. Yeah, I have her on the monitor to the right because I wanted to make sure she was okay while I was streaming. But okay, she's okay. Poor girl. I thought it was a cat, dude. I thought so too. I was like, I don't own a cat. What the hell was that? And then I look, I'm like, oh yeah, she's over there. <laughs> Whoops. Cody's anger at Chad has disturbed the peace. You're right. You're right. I need to be a better dad. No, Bully's amazing, dude. I really liked Bully a lot. Out of the Bully line, felt like yet. While this franchise like is no I, I love that Bully was just a way more contained GTA. I love the fact the that they like made a the GTA, but they time. super toned it down. I think that's really interesting. Fans have been burned on fake leaks before, but there is a precedent since it's been I played Metroid to other Prime, Nintendo bro. I, I wasn't a huge fan of it. This year would mark the game's 20th anniversary, and since the brand is back in its prime, pun fully intended, it was like stars seem to be aligned. I could see why it was amazing. To finally, make its debut on the Switch. I don't know. It's so weird because, like, I know why I like. Before we continue, I don't know. Sure I like Metroid games, but only some of them and only sometimes, you know. You have Echoes is the good one. Don't do this. This always happens. Whenever I say I do or don't like something, somebody's like, oh, you played the wrong one. I'm not, you're not tricking me. Not again. This happened to me with Dark Souls 2. I'm not, you gotta, ugh, I'm not doing it. The option to I'm be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're Metroid on Prime phone, is a much better game sure if you play it on mouse settings, keyboard. I did, and I thought it was still like, okay, you know. Just kind of basic. Number one. But that's looking Bioshock at it from, you know, location in 2021 or whenever I played it. Would not be constrained by the small. I still love Bioshock, bro. 
Bioshock go crazy. This game rules. Don't copy on me, bro. This game's coming out, and it's probably going to be very bad, but I love this series. I, I mean, 1 and 2. I like 1 and 2. I want to play Bioshock 2 again, actually. I want to do that. However, it seems good things do come to those who wait, since the first leaks are beginning to materialize, and they're will be bad. I know. I know. Infinite? I have never been... I legitimately don't think I've ever been more excited for a game than I was for Infinite. Shock Immortal and take place in 1960s Antarctica. It's also allegedly aiming for a 2022 launch, but even if it doesn't make that date, we're just glad to hear that Bioshock is finally back on track. I don't know, brothers and sisters, but this one doesn't look clean to me. Dude, I loved Bioshock 1 and 2. And I was so excited for Bioshock Infinite. Have you guys ever seen the trailer for Infinite? Oh my god, dude. That, the, not the trailer, but the gameplay trailer that came out before it dropped. It was amazing. The fake trailer? Dude, yeah. It's so sad. I was so stoked for Infinite, played through the game in one sitting on release and went into immediate remorse. I played through Bioshock Infinite very quickly, and the whole time I'm like, uh... The first two hours are amazing. And then you fight the handyman, and you're like, this sucks. And you're like, this is just bullet sponge. And you only get two weapons. It's so... Is Infinite bad? Never played, but always heard it's a classic. Infinite really depends on who you ask. Because if you ask a certain subset of people, maybe Doctor Who fans or something, who bat chest it like, oh my god, so deep. Here we go! Uh, if you enjoyed Pauline, never replay it because I think it may be the no worst way. staged game of all time. No way, no way. I played Bully like two years ago on stream. It was like two years ago and it was good. Which is weird, because I played Metroid Prime one year ago, and I didn't like it. Or maybe a year and a half. Not kidding. Bully's still good, I think. I loved it, Bully. Get over yourself. What do you mean? About Infinite? No, dude. It, it was because when I when Infinite came out, everybody had 10s. Everybody gave it 10s, thought it was crazy. I, it's just... The, devel the director said, Ken Levine, he said, I like games that make me feel stupid. Even I don't really understand how Infinite ends. The ending of Infinite is one of the worst things I've ever... Oh, about Bully? Oh, I see. <laughs> okay, never mind then. No, Bully Bully still is good. I think. I still think Bully's good. Uh, no, Infinite is... Uh, the issue with Infinite is that if you've never played any of the Bioshock games, the first Bioshock game is this... is supposed to be this thoughtful meditation on... Um, objectivism, Ayn Rand, uh, you know, the, the, the lengths people will go to create society without morals, and if it's a good idea, the implications of it, um, how the lower class always rises up, somebody's got to clean the toilets, there's a revolt, blah, blah, blah. There's a lot of cool things that happens in Bioshock 1. Bioshock 2 has the same sort of spiel, but it's a lot more honed in, and it's more about, like, the actual, uh, the, the the experience of living in that kind of city. So it's less to do with the high, like, 30,000-foot view of it and more to do with, like, okay, what are the day-to-day -day lives of these people and what is that like? Which is really interesting. Uh, it goes in the other direction where it looks at, like, populism. Um, not quite as good a story, but the gameplay's way better. Um, Bioshock Infinite fucking blows. It, it, it pretends in the first hour that it has all of these things to say, like, there's there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of posturing about race, racism being b a big deal, um, nationalism, um, manifest destiny, stuff like that, and then none of it gets brought up. Racism is, like, a thing in the first 20 minutes, and it never comes back. There's a scene with, like, a, like, a, like a wedding, an interracial wedding, and then it never happens again. They, they build, they talk about shit, and then it never happens. It's so bad. And then the ending of the game is probably the worst ending for any game I've ever played. It's really bad. 
But it sucks because like the theming is amazing. The art direction and the actual places you go to and the, the environments are amazing. It's great to play for that. But, you know, wasn't there a thing with the Vox? I don't think it was a... Ra I didn't think of it as a racism thing. It was just like a lower class, which I guess like kind of ties into the racism thing because the whole point is that the other races were the lower class. One of the... Like the explosive maker was, um I think, an Asian guy. So like maybe, but... The Vox, like, I don't think they made it explicit enough that this is a race thing and not a, like, a, you know. But maybe they did. Maybe they made it an immigrants thing. I don't know. Maybe I'm misremembering. The gameplay is way worse than 1 and 2 also. Because 1 and 2 were so... You had a ton of guns and a ton of powers. Infinite gives you only two guns, so you're constantly running out of ammo for the gun that you have and you have to keep swapping. And also, the Big Daddy substitute is awful. In the first two games, there's an enemy called a Big Daddy, which is like, it takes a ton of ammo, but it has a big drop. In Infinite, Big da the Big Daddy is called a Handyman. He doesn't really have as good loot, and he doesn't, he's just a normal enemy, and he's just a bullet sponge. It's really bad. Also, Comstock's Wife. Yeah, there's a boss fight that is really bad, dude. I There's so much I could talk about with Infinite. It's so bad. The ending is the worst ending of a game I've ever played. Uh... Did you ever play Dishonored 1 or 2? I played Dishonored 1, and I liked it. Uh, I, I've tried to play Dishonored 2 three times, and I keep falling out of it. I don't know why. It's the same thing. It's just not interesting to me. Something about Dishonored's play, gameplay loop isn't fun to me. I don't know why. I think it's because it's a stealth game, but like the stealth isn't tight. It feels like I'm guessing a lot of the time, but maybe I'm just bad at it. I like Deathloop, so, and I love uh, Prey, so I don't know. The final boss of Infinite is also terrible. Oh my god. Now I'm just thinking about that game. A shitty game. The stealth is bad? Okay, then it's not just me. Yeah, Dishonored is like a stealth game, but the stealth doesn't... You have to take guesses on stealth a lot, so... Prey sucked? Relax. Prey is amazing. What are you talking about? You trying to get a reaction from the streamer? Come on. Come on. Deathloop was fun. People dump on Deathloop too much, but I think it's just because it got 10s from everywhere and people, like, went the other way. It wasn't 10s, you know, but it's good, so. All right, I'm going to bed. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Sorry about the TikTok thing. I really thought we had something. <laughs> I brought the idea up to Vince, and I, I was just, like, a side thing. I was like, I wonder if we could, like, make a TikTok, start it fresh, and have chat, like, create the, the For You page, and the idea is that it'll constantly give us funny shit. And he was like, oh, that's a good idea. Let's make something for it. And, uh, it's not easy. I thought it would be, I thought it would pick up on our tastes way faster. But, <laughs> I guess it doesn't function that way. It's a good idea, but in practice, yeah. So, I, I'll see if we can revisit it. I want to make TikTok work somehow. I really do. And I think the easy answer is just, like, watch TikTok compilations on YouTube. I think that's boring. I want to, I want to do something with it, you know? So. We've got three other ideas that we're going to be doing soon, and I hope that they go better. One of them is a show with other people. One of them is uh, chat participation, but funny. Um, it's a good idea, I think. Uh, and then one of them is... What's the last one? Oh. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. You'll see. Okay. Okay. All right, thank you guys for watching. Uh, buh, 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 buh. I am gonna go to bed. Um, and I don't feel like looking like if looking for a raid, so I'm going to bed. Good night. How I love this pretty bed. Now I'll rest my weary. See you head. tomorrow. I don't know what Good we're night. doing. We'll figure it out.